we begin with our self observation <coughs> so let us observe for 10 minutes so we have to observe our imagination so we will start by observing the object of imagination isn't it and then see the feeling associated with it nice <coughs> <coughs> observe the object of imagination every moment let not anything skip your observation whatever is there in your imagination observe responsible for that feeling trace it whom do you find as responsible yourself or somebody else or something outside whom do you find as responsible for that feeling that you have at this moment from observing then what you observed then what you observed there would have been so many things that you observed in the past 15 minutes how your attention migrated from one point to another what feeling you had earlier then what feeling you had how your feeling got changed
object of imagination, you know, what you got reminded of, what was going on and then see how it came to some other object, then how and if you can see that linkage also, how you move from one object to another and just write the feeling with that, I was worried, you know, I was comfortable, I was not comfortable, feeling affectionate, feeling opposed, whatever. So if any reflection or any question is there regarding the observation, you may take a mic and then speak. Uh, but yeah, I could see that sometimes I stayed uh, for on one particular object uh, and with that I tried to seek some happiness with it uh, because I liked that part. Uh, I remembered one song and I deliberately played it within me and it went on for some time. Then sometime I shifted quickly from uh, one person to another thing. There I could not deduce the feeling. And uh, one question I have is, for two of my sisters, I had different kind of feeling that I thought, but I could not make out. For one, I thought she was uh, more responsible and for other, I thought she is less responsible. So in that I could not make out the feeling and uh, I could observe that in for one person only in that very small time I had different feelings. One time is what is affection and another very fraction of second it became to a position and from yesterday uh, this is improved a little. Nice, nice Didi. Yes. Well, yeah, uh, one thing I was not able to make out when we are seeing the object of attention after uh, opening our eyes. I can remember only few of that. Trace it. <laughs> trace it within. When yes. when I'm looking. Try to trace it back. This I was thinking about. What made me think about this? What happened earlier to this? What happened earlier to this? Yeah, this is also happening when I, when I close my eyes and I start with my observation. I have one object of attention, then I move on to the other. At that point, I remember, okay, okay this was the first, this is the second. Yes. And, but since it is some um, 15 or 20, so after... Yes, yes. Hmm. So, presently we are, like we are interacting also, some sound is also coming, our attention is getting diverted. And you are also seeing that, okay, there are only 10 minutes. So, so many thoughts are going on. But when you are at ease with yourself, you start observing. You can just see, like a story it is going on. Something, 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 you know, <laughs> the chain of events within me. And then observe the feeling. Okay, well. And then see, you know, what makes me have this feeling? What are the deep sun scars within? What makes me worried? What makes me anxious? What makes me happy? What makes me unhappy? What makes me comfortable? Because they are driving our imagination and their imagination is driving our action and we are unaware. Ji. Yeah, Namaste Bhaiya. Uh, it was different from yesterday because when I started thinking, uh, when I started with this observation, yesterday I was not able to see the thoughts, then I started thinking about something, then connecting with that many thoughts came. But uh, those thoughts were actually according to my natural acceptance. So at the end, uh, I was able to reach a state uh, there I was not able to find any 
slot seat was something like a uh, stagnant state or something that was yesterday but today when i started think many thoughts came all of them are contradicting thoughts but i uh, connecting some incidents today morning yesterday morning very silly incidents but i felt very unhappy and then uh, i thought these are not naturally acceptable to me i have to come out of this state then i thought about something which can make me happy so that i'll be able to come out of it uh, so i was not able to reach that state of uh, stagnation or some yeah, every fine. time that some yeah every some time some thoughts were there uh, because it was conflicting many many thoughts that was what i felt yes srivasti okay thoughts uh, the sequence of uh, thoughts uh, which uh, i am uh, getting and uh, feeling behind that uh, sometimes i am uh, i uh, just uh, um, uh, stay there in the feeling and uh, next uh, uh, after that again went into another uh, thought and uh, feeling behind that and keep on running and uh, i have a uh, i would like to have small clarification these thoughts what basis the thoughts are generating and uh, feeling behind the thought uh, is it uh, under my control uh, or i am able to choose which one i would like to uh, uh, get, uh, uh, list out in the order or it is uh, randomly coming and uh, going up what is control <laughs> who is controlling self so you are there with the thought with the imagination with the feeling and then you can see that i am deciding if i had one kind of an assumption i will have this kind of feeling if i have another kind of assumption i will have this kind of feeling so you'll see that in your imagination when you are tracing your objects you are able to see so many concerns that you have yes so those thing which concern you you know you are able to pay attention to that and then deep down you can see all my concerns and the basic concern sometimes i feel i am able to control sometimes i feel no need to control that's what i am saying don't react don't control don't not impose. control means not feelings the sequence of thoughts don't do that just let it go otherwise no you are not able to observe your current state of being because you are imposing something controlling means imposing something so you are not able to observe your current state of being yes thank you nice ji Uh, by during my observation when i am having a feeling of opposition even in this air condition hall i could see i am sweating profusely so my body is reacting yeah yeah so it might be the case that there are some thoughts in you which are troubling you too much mm. you are getting anxious and because of that there is effect on the body and one thing is uh, my observation has increased by uh, i could uh, improve in my observation that i could clearly observe bhaiya yeah. thank you bhaiya if you are able to do this as step 5 you are able to see the basis then you can work on that basis and i i am able to figure out that basis also bhaiya why why was having the feeling of opposition yeah basis doesn't mean an event that happened in the past basis means my the sanskar assumptions yeah assumptions. i got that bhaiya yes, mm. yes. nice thank you nice so we'll keep observing this is something quite doable and essentially we are trying to transform the self so we are doing exercise 1 and 2 in the process we discussed this in detail yesterday also now we'll since we are talking about knowledge of human being so we'll talk about this we have already gone through this are there any questions still Where is the ellipse? Here. Dots. Uh, a desire, thought, expectation, then then something uh, yes, that. Yes. So here we have like the power of uh, understanding and determination, the power of realization and authentication. No, no, that is uh, given as knowing in the response no, no, no. part. No. See, when we are having that. diagram of the self so we have on the left hand column hmm. desire thought expectation and two cells are blank 
that is there. Mm. Nice, so we are able to see that I am there, body is there, I am coexisting with the body, the needs are different kind, the activities are of different kind, the response is different. Here I am knowing, assuming and then recognizing and fulfilling. Here only I have recognizing and fulfilling. So this is consciousness, this is material. And what we are trying to see is that if I observe myself, then I am able to understand the consciousness. When I observe the body, I am able to understand the material. And thus I am able to understand the whole of nature. Now we can see that so long as we are working in the domain of assuming, we are in problems. Because we have several preconditionings. We have assumed so many things without knowing. And those assumptions are indefinite, they keep on changing. And that's how our conduct is also indefinite. And we are dependent on outside for happiness. We are dictated per tantra. So knowing is to see the reality as it is as well as the purpose by direct observation as a seer. So I have the clarity of what and why of relationship, harmony and coexistence. And then there is definiteness, continuity, universality. Assuming is acceptance to live in accordance with the purpose. Acceptance can be on the basis of knowing or even without knowing. Then real recognizing is the relationship with human being and the rest of nature. And then fulfilling the relationship. So here I am the doer. Now, if I am resolved on the basis of knowing through self-verification, when I refer to my natural acceptance and I live accordingly, validate in my experience, then my assuming gets definite and my conduct is definite. And this is the whole purpose of education. So education essentially is to develop this consciousness so that I can move from knowing, assuming to knowing, isn't it? That is the whole purpose of education. I can see this for myself, I can see this for my spouse, I can see this for my child, I can see this for all my relatives. That essentially this transformation has to take place. And for that I do not have to struggle with my assumptions, I do not have to struggle with my preconditioning. I only have to verify the proposals. The more I am able to verify, the assumptions you know, get replaced by knowing. So we can see that I am there, body is there, body is material, I am consciousness, I am continuous, body is temporary. Here I have all these four activities. Presently we are working largely in the domain of assuming, recognizing and fulfilling and we are trying to awaken the knowing. There is no potential to know in the body, there is only recognizing and fulfilling. So I hope this much is clear to us. Now as an assignment in this lecture, observe yourself and your interaction with the body. Now check by direct observation whether there is need for happiness in the self. It is there every moment, continuous. There is a need of physical facility like food for the body. Is it there from time to time, not every moment, that is temporary. Observe yourself and your body. Now check by direct observation whether the recognition and fulfillment of the body is definite while the recognition and fulfillment of the self is dependent on its assuming or knowing and assuming. Then observation of activities of the self is made in detail in exercise 1. It is found that they are continuous. Observe the activity of the body and verify that it is not continuous. Isn't it? This part is clear. Any questions so far? Take a mic. Uh, there is a creativity state for the mind, uh, the consciousness, no? That we are not, never mentioning creativity. What is level. creativity? Something new. New. Something new, new? to create. Yeah. <laughs> Just see once. Something has happened. Oh. So 
so that what are we doing there essentially we are doing in the domain of imagination we have a desire we have some thought we have some expectation and with that we are doing this so it becomes a creativity you make a painting for example isn't it so you have some desire some feeling you have some feeling and i want to express you some something with that feeling you draw something isn't it it becomes a painting yeah so the colors were already there the sheet was there you drew something on it even if you look at the sheet the trees were there you made sheet out of the trees you made pigment out of some natural things and then you you know made a painting that's all so it is ultimately formation deformation and we are doing that in the domain of imagination only No. whatever we do like this building has been made out of formation deformation this pointer tomorrow maybe some new device comes we have this projector here and now we can have a smart board here which is projecting by itself a big screen quite possible so what we are doing essentially with the material things we are combining them together or breaking them to make some new structure that is all that is formation deformation and we are doing that in the domain of imagination only in the block b1 right there is only knowing no creativity what do i create i just know the reality as it is i apply my knowing to do some creativity in imagination in deformation in material is itself a reality isn't it yeah so knowing the reality is from block b1 so this process of formation and deformation will also be in the block b1 no 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 see knowing the reality so reality is there outside i am knowing it within and formation deformation is not to be known formation deformation is not something definite continuous and universal formation deformation is activity okay. what we are knowing is participation innateness and submergence so it is not the content of knowing also so we may learn something we may forget it tomorrow isn't it so in It, case of physical <coughs> physical order what is the knowing that i should have natural characteristic innateness and submergence that is coexistence submergence is coexistence natural characteristics is participation relationship and innateness is existence innateness is harmony okay so now with this understanding we can now look at the interaction between self and body so as you are asking now so this one and two have been left blank so dot dot was for this we are avoiding it we are avoiding it because if we can just discuss without the usage of those words that is better <laughs> because we have to see the reality it so happens that when we use more words we start relating these words to what we have read earlier and our attention shifts to some other literature some something outside we have to look within so that's how we are in fact would like to present only these 10 words this can also be removed if you are able to understand this isn't it so the whole creativity is here here in block b1 there is no creativity here i just see the reality as it is now here i am assuming something then i am you know recognizing and fulfilling and then i am creating something outside so i am able to understand this then i can see the coexistence between self and body that i am the consciousness body is material i am sending instruction to the body and i am receiving sensation from the body so these are the steps of exercise 2 you know we went through it yesterday so i'll not go through it again so observing the self 
and the body by the self is step one. So we are making the following important observations about self and body. I am. How do I come to see? On the basis of observing, seeing my activities. So the self is a reality. It exists. It is an existential reality. The body is on the basis of observing, that is seeing or reading sensation from the body. The body is a reality. It exists. It is an existential reality. The self and the body are two distinct realities. I am able to observe this. So essentially, I need to observe my being and the being of the body you know, as two different entities. Maybe I am not able to do that at step one, so I will go further, observe. But this is something as an essential thing to be known that I am not the body. I am aware of myself by observing my activities. I am aware of the body by observing the sensation from the body, reading the sensation from the body. Then observing the interaction between the self and the body by the self. So what is the interaction between me and the body? Exchange of information or exchange of physiochemical things. What do you say? Information. So the instruction that I send is an information. The sensation that I receive, I read, is also an information. So I give instruction to the body. When I want to take some work from the body, I give it some instructions like get up, walk, sit, down. This instruction is an information. On the basis of events taking place in the body, sensations are taking place. I read some of these sensations. I taste the sensation that I read. This sensation is also an information. The interaction between self and the body is only in the form of transaction of information and not of any physiochemical things. Fine? Bhaiya, yeah, I am having a doubt. Yes. So now, Myself can understand the information which is in English and Tamil language. So what is that language? By Suppose if I born somewhere in German or Spain, that language, how come by the self? Yeah, that is something that we see at step 5. So I am assigning meaning to the sensation. So some words are uttered. In the morning I was walking in front of library. So the watchman said something to me. I couldn't make out what he's saying, but I just thought that I should not be walking here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I do not know the language, uh -huh. but I know the gesture. It is common to me and him. Mm. So I couldn't make it out, right? So to the extent I'm able to give, a, give some meaning to the sensation, I'm able to act accordingly. Otherwise, you know, I'm not able to recognize it. So at step five, we are able to see how I assign meaning to the sensation. Now when you say, you have to say yes, what do you do? How do you shake your head for yes? Like this. Like this. No means this way. No. There will be some people who are saying like this. <laughs> Confusing us. <laughs> Whether it is say yes or no, <laughs> not clear. <laughs> yes. So you want to say yes or no? No, very fast. No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but we can make it out to the majority. We had one of the class of philosophy. Based on the rights, what the LKG teacher said, teaching us. Johnny, Johnny, it's Papa. She'll teach us. We can catch that. Right from PTC. So we had one class of philosophy in BTEC. And there was one student, Murli Krishna, very sharp student. He was sitting in the front row. And there was this lady faculty teaching philosophy. And she explained the whole thing once and then asked her whether you understood. We all said yes, but this person said this. She explained again. Again, he said the same way. Now she was worried why is this person not able to understand it? <laughs> Then it came out that, okay, this is the way to say yes for him. You know? <laughs> so observing the decision maker. So he is deciding to give instruction to the body or to read specific sensations from the body. Is it the self or the body? So we can say, we can see that I decide to give instruction to the body. I decide to read a specific sensation from the body. 
The decisions regarding the exchange of information between me and the body are entirely mine. I interact with the body as and when I consider it is important. I interact with the body from time to time, not continuously. The body acts according to the instruction that I give to it. And I use the body as per my decision. I use the body as an instrument. And observe it. That this is my choice. Reading the sensation from the body. Isn't it? It depends on my priority. If you are at ease with yourself, you know, then you start paying attention to the body. Oh, my, I have a headache, I have, you know, my legs are paining and so many things. But if you have to complete a task and hand over in the next one hour, you forget everything. So you are not reading those sensations from the body. So I decide what to do and what not to do. At the level of the self, I decide my desire, thought and expectation. At the level of the body, where my involvement is required, I give instruction to the body in accordance with the work I want to take from the body and the body does accordingly. I operate the body as per my decision. I use the body like an instrument. I use the taste from the sensation to decide what is to be done with the body with the outside world. So I am the decision maker. Yeah. Actually, I have a clarification on watching the news. Uh, the thing is, uh, before eight years back, when I was uh, um, second pregnancy, uh, uh, that time uh, recently, or two to three months, within two to three months, I was continuously hearing about the news of uh, child abusement. Uh, just uh, nearby my home itself, uh, one small kid, uh, eight years old girl, she was killed due to this and uh, I was very much upset due to that incident. Then immediately within few days again I saw the news. At the time I have the habit of seeing the news in the TV or sometimes if I have time I will see in the YouTube also. So within few days again I saw the news of a small 8 years girl again in Kashmir uh, that uh, Asifa, a girl Asifa from Katua. She was tortured for more than one week and so on seeing this, I couldn't able to sleep for three days, nights. I was very much upset and uh, since due to my pregnancy, my sugar, BP, everything uh, raised actually. So I was under, I was admitted in hospital for one day to uh, control all those things. And from that moment onwards, after that, I was not at all watching the news till today. Past eight years, I doesn't know what is happening around me. Apart from somebody <coughs> came in my cabin or some of my friends share me that these things are going on. Most of the time they will <laughs> come at me like some new uh, cin cinemas released, uh, some songs are there. I was listening, what is this? If I ask now, they will comment me. Hey, you don't know what's happening around you. This is a big thing going on at present like that. So, uh, what? why I decided to stop seeing is like, I'm, uh, I'm, I lost my happiness because of seeing such uh, news. So after that, I was a little bit peaceful because I doesn't know what's happening around me. So it doesn't hurt me anything. So uh, today when I was coming in bus, I was just observing myself. Suddenly that thought came and uh, now I have a doubt like whether uh, I should continue this since it's not giving happiness or I, it's making me to go to a disharmony state. Uh, I should uh, continue like this or uh, I should know everything but I should be able to overcome that, come out of that. I should accept that this is what the nature happening around me like that. So this is the first clarification I am having. Uh, and the second thing is like uh, once when the person who is committing such type of uh, crimes, uh, at that time I felt very... Uh, anger and I was thinking why this government is not taking very serious steps and uh, hang them immediately like that and all I get some thoughts and now I can understand uh, they are uh, doing uh, giving such type of punishment is not going to stop anything we are giving punishment only for the body that material but even then through that material only they are uh, uh, making others to get hurt so, only solution I feel is like everybody should understand their self and body. 
that is the only solution but uh, this is a very slow and gradual process definitely it is not going to happen maybe till i was being alive whether uh, everything will change or not i don't know but how to make this uh, such type of things to get rid of such type of things and as as i asked uh, i have to know everything and i have to accept or i have to just uh, omit it uh, whatever i feel like it's disharmony for me for me yeah so first of all this is very pathetic state and like this is happening and certainly undesirable now some information comes to me isn't it and then i assign some meaning to that information now this meaning that i assign is based on my assumption so i get upset if my assuming is not based on right understanding if my assuming is based on right understanding i do not get upset but rather i am able to see the reason behind this and the right kind of program that has to be developed so avoiding some information is not the solution the information may come it's also not not that i am going to collect all the information so my program is to develop right understanding right feeling in me with that whatever information comes to me i am able to assign the right meaning to the information and then make my program also while making my program i can see that right education is missing in the society and if you look at the present day media it is promoting consumption it is promoting sensual pleasure to the extent that you know people are entering into wrong practices i can also see that the criminal had been an innocent child few years back since he did not get the right education the right environment in the family the right environment around the family so he entered into this kind of situation that he has committed such a heinous crime isn't it so we have to be responsible for the right kind of environment right kind of education so i become more responsible now that i have to act urgently isn't it it is not only important but urgent that we have to work for it and we have to also see you know how such innocent children get converted into such criminals what needs to be done how is the media spoiling their imagination we have to take care of that also so on one hand we have to see that the right education can should on the other hand i have to see that these wrong assumptions do not get stated in the imagination isn't it so observing the interaction between the self and the body by the self so i can see that i am the observer that is the seer doer and the enjoyer that is experiencer so i see i observe as and when required i use the body to see through the five senses i am the one who decides to see i in that sense i am the observer i use the body as an instrument something that we had discussed earlier i decide to do as and when required from time to time i give instruction to the body in that sense i am the doer and i am the one who experiences happiness and unhappiness i am the enjoyer i am the experiencer is my yeah yeah as mam was discussing uh, <coughs> so many innocents are being punished it is not all the news that are coming on the media it is true perfectly speaking after experience i am speaking out so many news about child abuse and other things harassments it comes but most of the cases being as a minor girl so many things has been have been victimized and so many have been acquitted but it happens to the law when it comes to the judicial part it takes lot of number of years 10 to 15 years for the acquisition but for the conviction immediately they do if a person has done wrong he may be hanged if it is all put up cases people inside the prison they are suffering it is not all the prisoners or have done a mistake if we visit the prison we will come to know the medias are spoiling like anything giving wrong messages 
and depending on the wealth, all the other supports, political supports and other things. So many innocents are there inside the prison. They don't even have the lawyers for them because of all these things. There are so many entire across the world, across the globe, across India, across our nation. So many are sufferings. It doesn't mean with a realistic point of view I am putting forth over here. Yeah, that is also there. In fact, we conducted workshops in three jails. Bilaspur Central Jail, Kanpur Jail and Gaziabad Jail. And we found that so many prisoners are there whose maximum punishment could be three years. And they were under trial for more than three years. Like recently, president also said no, that so many prisoners are there in the jail you know, who have been in the jail for years together and their punishment is going to be six months or one year or something like that. So that is also the case. yeah. And many news are also fake. Sometimes to take revenge also. So we have to look at the reality. You know? You know? We all are acquainted with what all is happening. The core point is that we have to develop a program for human goal. How to ensure right understanding in every individual. Like recently, like in today's morning session only, you know, uh, one participant was sharing that he went to a village and he found that people are drinking and he wants to make a program for them. Now, you will see that most of the crimes are committed when people are drunk. I am belonging to a village, I can see that my villagers are drinking, can I make a program for them? Is it not my responsibility? I got educated in that village for example, now I moved to a city, I am leading a posh life, let's say. So am I feeling related to my village or not? Am I able to see that I am indebted to my village, which educated me, which nurtured me? Am I giving back to the village? At least I can give education to the village. I can conduct people's education program. I can go there, conduct some sessions. Why so much of drinking is there? It is found that if you stop drinking practice, crimes go less. In Bihar, this has been found. If drinking is stopped, crimes come down severely. So the person has the same natural acceptance, but in that state of drunk, being drunk, he is committing this kind of crime. And many people, in fact, in Central Jail, we found that, Bilaspur Central Jail, when we conducted the first workshop, then the DM asked us that, whom do you want to conduct workshop for? So he said that, give us the most hardened criminals. So we were given 33 hardened criminals. And some of them were those who had committed more than three or five murders. <laughs> there was one Mr. Bedu Singh, Anna. he said that, my neighbors made me drunk and then gave me an axe. I went to some other neighbor house, killed someone. I came to my house and slept. In the morning when I woke up, police was standing by me. I asked, what have I done? <laughs> they said that you have committed a murder. He said, I am not like that. I have not done it. Then it was found that he has done it. So things like that are there. Yeah. No, please switch on the mic first. <laughs> 2017 to 19, it's happened. I remember Asifa case. So that moment, a uh, new batch arrived here. Uh, I'm handling uh, management, Let MBA students. Details. Let us not go into those details. The core message is here. No, that is the flow. That's what. So um, uh, newly 60, I mean, uh, 600 and students got uh, registered and uh, uh, they just started pursuing their MBA degree over here. So when that incident happened, uh, we really felt, um, I mean, uh, non-connected with that because we are not belongs to that uh, particular state and particular uh, uh, incident and particular girl's family, particular victim's family. No way we related to that, even to the judicial part, even to the police department. But we felt helpless. So that moment, what we decided, we in the sense myself along with my 62 students in the particular section of first MBA uh, classes, so just, just throw the information to the students and just seeking their opinion. So being a citizen of 
this particular uh, nation. So this is uh, one incident happened at one corner of uh, known or unknown uh, place. So if it is happening to us, to you, what will be the immediate reaction? Rather reaction, what could be your first thought into your mind? So all the students, this is really surprised me that moment, all the 65 students stood and it's just ready to take an oath. We are against of that particular incident, whoever might be irrespective of their religion, irrespective of their caste, irrespective of their gender. They just take an oath like we are against of that and give a, uh, I mean, uh, uh, supportive hands to the uh, particular family. This has really got me a goosebump. And the very next day, this is got spreading out to the other sections also. So they just got a awakeness like uh, all the students just came forward voluntarily and just taken oath. So this is uh, I just uh, saw in the saw in a positive way in that. So wherever the hatred and the nasty things and the unbearable things are happening, also there are uh, good human beings still alive and just uh, uh, waiting for a uh, good justice. So, uh, in regain connecting with the decision making, so we have to stand uh, for uh, uh, such a things, even we are helpless, even we, we couldn't exp extend our support in a materialistic way. So, this is what uh, I just want to convey. Can I some? I want to deviate from the discussion, Bhaiya. <laughs> so, uh, is language part of the sanskar? The language part of? Is language part of the sanskar? Like uh, language, yes. Uh, when we are without the body, we are still evolving. So, how do we do that? Because we are not able to see the thoughts. So, do we see the feelings, or is there the language is there? Not just see. When we are observing, we are using any language within, or we are just observing. observing. Just observing. Something appears as my spouse. Something appears as my child. Something appears as my in-laws. And I'm just observing. The feeling is there. Analysis is going on. Unless I have to communicate to someone, I need not name also somebody. Isn't it? So the language is not required inside. No, that is when the body is there. This is saying that when the body is not there, in my imagination, will I be requiring a language or not? So presently also not requiring. That's uh, no like no? within my say. This is saying that when the body is not there, what will happen to the language? Will I still require the language for me to imagine? So the language is not required within me. It is required for communication. I just assign some meaning to a word. Now that meaning is there inside me. I am imagining with this meaning. Take a mic. Huh? Yeah, so imaging is there images. inside you. Yeah, images are there inside you. The it can be translated finely to words. No? All the, that is when you this have one to communicate. is image. Huh? That is when we have to communicate. We have to use the body. I, I, yeah. We have to send some instruction to the body. And then only language is required. Otherwise, everything, if it is stored as images, like a movie, then we can uh, take that picture and then communicate. Yeah. So, imaging is going on, analysis is going language. on, comparing yeah. is going on, selecting and testing is going on. Take a mic, take a mic, not audible here. Uh, no, no. We are observing our thoughts. There is a language, right, uh, which is going on inside. When you come to the feelings, there is no language. But before that, when I am observing the thought, that time there is a language, right? That is a kind of conditioning in us. We talk to ourselves. Yeah. We may not talk to ourselves also. We can directly observe. So you'll see that in sleep also, many mm. times we are talking. Or within ourselves also. You'll see that when we are churning our thoughts, we start talking to oneself. And, uh, saying something to oneself. Many people get also used to utter words. Something they are uttering by themselves. So many times we are using the brain more than it is required. I can just observe my thoughts. No need to talk to myself. I talk to myself because the thought is moving in a circle again and again. The same thing is getting churned. Otherwise, when I am resolved, I can see the reality. I can have the feeling based on reality and I can make a program. That's all. 
I don't need I don't need to keep on revising the same thing and again and again me. But that is a common practice that if you look at your imagination and you have some concern or some feeling which is not as per your natural acceptance, you keep on repeating the same thing and again and again you. And then you are talking to yourself. You are saying to yourself, you know, this person should not have done this to me. This is a wrong person. This is that way, that this way, otherwise, you know, so many things. So that talking to myself may require language. But analyzing does not require language. Comparing does not require language. Imaging does not require language. But when I am talking to myself, then somehow I am using me as the other person. Then I require language. So language is not part of the sanskar? No. Sanskar is my set of assumptions. Language is an information. I'll see, we'll see that we forget the language also. Soon. What? The meaning is inside me. Yeah, but now you shared one uh, incident in the morning. We have mic. So you shared that incident uh, that watchman asked you to do something and you couldn't give meaning. That is because uh, that sanskar of language is not with me. So I yes. cannot give the meaning. So does that language uh, becomes part of sanskar or is not part of sanskar? Because I cannot give meaning if I am not having that sanskar of that particular language. So like if I look at this situation, I could not get the meaning of the words that he said. But I got the message. So now I am this having this assuming that I should not be walking here anymore. Next time also I will not go to walk there. Or if I feel that it is valid walking there, then I will go with some person who can understand Tamil and talk to that person. What is the problem? So that assuming is there in me. Hey, yeah, here. Yes. So far we learned that body dies, but I doesn't die. I never die. Okay. So whenever the situation is that I am existing, that means the self existing, but the body is no more available with the self, both are separated. Whether that time the process of imagination is still on within yes. the self, does yes. it realize the feeling? Imagination is on, but the sensation is not there. You see it, that most of the time imagination is triggered by sensation. Yeah. Is sensation is not there, but Imagination part is still going on within it. Yes. It happens to all the selves. Yes. All the conscious entities. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And when the sensation is not coming, the repetition is not taking place to that extent as it is taking place now. So when I'm seeing you every day, I recognize your face. I don't see you for six months. Next time I say, oh, uh, I Sadhan day bhaiya. <laughs> Isn't it? So that forgetfulness also comes into picture, comes yes. into play. Yes, yes. It happens it to the... It comes while the body is there also. Uh, that, is, <laughs> that is quite obvious as it is happening now. Yes. But when body is not there, that kind of forgetfulness with the conscious entity, that is also there. Yes. So I pay attention to what is important to me. When the body is important to me, I take sensation, I read sensation from the body and I assign meaning and then act. The body is not there. I am not able to make out my role in this existence, in this nature. Anna? So whatever I am doing, I am doing within me. So that time also, it is also a silent observer like that, we can say. It observes observer, like if you case, take the case of a drunkard who is not paying attention to any uh -huh. self-exploration. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh -huh. how can you observe? He just <laughs> looking for another body so that he can drink again. <laughs> uh -huh. And Bhaiya, the next question, one more please. Uh, the concept of this ghost, both is isko bolte hai. The concept of ghost, one self is already existing within the body. And so far I understand the other self is also trying to dominate the existing self. In the light of this USB philosophy, how can it be explained? A single body occupying two numbers of selves. Yeah, just like this. Some <laughs> one is dominant to you. One is dormant, one is active. <laughs> yeah. Some person comes to you. Are you going to vote? You say yes. Whom are you going to vote? You say this party. You know what this party is doing? They are scoundrels. So bad people are doing this, that, this, that. Within half an hour, you get overpowered. <laughs> Sir, here... <laughs> the Gaut, same thing can be done by the other self. <laughs> Sir, 
Why is did it, you not close it? Does it actually shop? happen or this is just a misconception? It's a myth. You can see the possibility for this. This can always happen. See, you are coexisting with the body. Huh. Some self could be there looking for the body. He finds your body very attractive. <laughs> 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 no, there are so many instances of, in the news also, media also, we are every day seeing such kind of incidences. So how can we dis- disbelieve this? this yeah, is so no need to disbelieve, understand this. So it is possible and you can see the conduct, but I am not going to all those details. Can I? You can see the conduct there. Right? It is not your conduct. Somebody else's conduct is there. Yes, the conduct is also gets distorted. Yeah. Like a woman is speaking like a man, that kind of voice is coming out and things like that may happen. Sir, so, here, government is open the task mark, liquor shop and everything. But that only even lot of accident or some other incident coming. For example, government closes a task mark. The income of the government to be reduced. But the, instead of that, to create lot of industries, the government get produced lot of income. But avoid in this situation, I have also asked to drunk to people because they are hard working. You are simply going to college or some other job. You don't have any sense. If you go, in the case of civil engineers or some other person, in the Saturday and Sunday, task mark in the queue. I am asking why. But they say, you don't know what is our hard work and everything. But we need some relaxation, we do that activity. How to overcome this? Which activity? I could not get a question. Drinking. Drinking. Drinker. Okay. See, the problem is, again, that we are discussing here, I am trying to be happy through sensation. One thing. Second thing, I am not happy within. So, when I am not having within, it is having some impact, adverse impact on my body, on the brain in particular. So if you are anxious, you are unhappy, you are in distress, then you are exerting yourself on the brain, isn't it? And that is causing some more problems, some unfavorable sensation from the body. When you drink, then all those get toned down. So one is to get happiness from the sensation. The second is to escape from unhappiness. And see, the government is made by us. If a government says that from next day, no liquor, the government is voted out. Isn't it? So we are making that kind of government. All those governments who will say that no liquor from the next day, you see, they are voted out of power. <laughs> yeah, so see, all these things are coupled to. Let us not go outside. Let us try to look within. Yes. So, oh, yeah, just a minute. Let us look within. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, in continuation with Sal's question, like uh, uh, he said, right, that uh, workers who do uh, hard work, they are going for a liquor shop to uh, get relaxed out of it. And they may say that uh, you people, uh, those who are in white collar jobs, don't go suffer such stage. So in this case, uh, both the selves, we can take it same. But uh, what does that body undergo uh, that, that kind of suffer? Like we sit here in AC, we don't feel any kind of uh, suffering over the day, so we sit. So but they are still taking we... it as a medicine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> yeah. So you have to see, if it is working as a medicine, fine. But if it is to get drunk and, and then uh, forget okay. certain things, then it is not fine. Okay. So otherwise, if you see alcohol, if you look at it, in Ayurveda, we have asa and Arisht. Yes. The two preparations, they are basically alcohol. They are used to cure the body. So alcohol is essentially, if you see, you know, it is there as a medicine only. But people okay. use it for taste and then get drunk and things like that. Okay. So but if no they need. go with a limited quantity, it will be good. No need for that also. <laughs> better to take better food. <laughs> <laughs> now, how will you, again the question, how to decide the limit? <laughs> because mostly they justify with that only, that term. What? Right. Yes. No, no. They justify in terms like uh, why you are not undergoing means no, see, you are not hard work. We have to see yes. if we can have some herbs, some medicine which can protect the body from scorching sun. That can be used. Why not think in those terms? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. 
थैंक यू थैंक यू भैया भैया आई स्टिल आई कॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट्स व्हेन द सेल्फ इज विदाउट बॉडी लैंग्वेज इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट दैट पार्ट आई कुडंट अंडरस्टैंड ओके लेट अस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फोकस ऑन द सेल्फ विद द बॉडी while observing you can make out to what extent during your observation you were using language to what extent you were not using language try to make it out try to make it out by yourself do i require language to observe within me to observe i doesn't require to observe i doesn't require yeah to observe i don't require la- uh, language bhaiya why do you require but to interpret the meaning where is the word coming from the body is not there why now only you said when the body is there ha so presently you need the language how do we talk then <laughs> not for the expression part itself by at the time of imagination itself yes so when i am communicating to you you have to receive the words interpret it give some meaning whether you speak or not is another issue okay uh now when you have to speak then again you have to use the same words no what is the question said so you are receiving words from me yes bhai you are reading the sensation from the body you are assigning the meaning to the words isn't it now when you feel like speaking then you communicate so you are receiving the sensation from the body which it is your decision then you are assigning some meaning to the sensation then you instruct the body as and when required so, so to understand like- what i am saying you need to learn the language that is But- fine But, but when i am not communicating nobody is communicating to you you okay, don't need the language isn't it but at one point you said no bhaiya there is language is not required for the self no it is said that if i am working within the self i am not receiving any sensation from the body okay i am not sending any instruction to the body okay then there is no use of language within me i am imagining without any language because i am basically imagining about the reality some person is there okay some object is there i am paying attention to that that's all i am just visualizing yes you are visualizing but to understand the language is required to, to communicate to receive communication to send communication language is required but to understand bhaiya to understand that no in fact when you are working at the level of contemplation understanding realization you don't need the language you need to see the reality that time not getting maya yeah so that you have to make out in fact we'll see that the role of language gradually comes the role of language gradually comes down take a mic So in the session resolution that you are taught to us that mentioned uh, six steps. So the first order is self. In terms of self, uh, starting with the responding wisdom and signs. So what we are discussing okay. about there is no, I mean, not required for language, um, especially in the imagination stage and all. Rather language, why not the brain could be a medium to talk to self and body. See, the issue is something different. See. once i have assigned the meaning to the language the role of language is gone i receive some words from the body i assign meaning to the words but the responding requires some understanding yes. no again when i have to send some instruction to the body i require words so when i am assigning meaning to the words the role of words is gone again when i am to i have to send some words through the body to the other person as a form of communication i get need the language other i no need so no fact, need of uh, before sensing compiler in the form like the compiler no may no do to compare with computer we are not computers <laughs> we are some translation should required no sir even uh, not speaking not sensing and uh, something could be sensed by uh, some symptoms or uh, some kind of uh, uh, occurrence no observe it of the in fact what we are doing as an observation observe where do i need the language what do i do not need the language so are you sure there is no play of a brain in between the conversation of self and body no again when you are communicating with self and body then you are using words within the self 
once you assign the meaning there is no role of words i hope i am audible within the self once i have assigned the meaning i have assigned some meaning to the word so there is no role of word anymore this is something that was mentioned also okay what acha yes a position for what when i was supposed to explain second time to you i tell you the meaning okay <laughs> okay so readable or not readable readable so word hai na so the meaning is there inside me i assign some meaning to the word so i receive the word from the body i have no meaning associated with the word now i am imagining with this meaning then when i have to speak again the meaning that i have i use the word to communicate that's all you have another, see word is a symbol it so there are sign languages it is just a symbol even i am blind i was talking about humans i was talking about you have the body no so we can develop another kind of sign language by touching the body <laughs> so if somebody holds your right hand he is saying yes left hand he is saying no <laughs> <laughs> feelings are there in the self now how to express is a mechanism presently if you see we are using some words maybe 100 years hence we have a different kind of language to use this ai is coming now they will say why they are speaking just press this button this will get expressed <laughs> they spending so much of time is speaking sir uh, as here i am here yes as sir said when body and uh, uh, self is separated no need to go there <laughs> observe yourself <laughs> as you are right now that's what the question is related to that only when it is with our body self is with our body okay we are getting only the thoughts whatever is related to this body only no whoever i know and whatever i have seen around me and all those if it is separated then how come uh, uh what type of objects uh, it can you said uh, self can imagine uh, imagination See, still if i respond to this question how will you verify that's what i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so i'm asking you <laughs> so just observe what you are doing right now just you can observe later on when the body is not there bhaiya <laughs> uh, one one question yes. uh a self is at a point in space and the body is also associated with the self at the point if i am understanding so when i see myself now can i anyway relate myself with my body as uh, like this is where what i see is i i see myself uh, through a part over here so like pardon uh, i see that myself is associated with my body through my eyes no no th- that is what that is what i feel since most of the sensations i am using through my eyes i feel that myself is associated when i have a thought of where is myself in the body uh, how can i there is no question of myself you are the self yes where am i in my body then find it out are there in the leg no i feel no you are not taking care of the leg i am taking care of the leg but so why are you not there in the leg 
Okay. So I am in this whole body. I am like expanding myself, you know, in this whole body to take care of the body. But I am not the body. I am not a part of the body. I am there in space at the same point where the body is there, mm -hmm. and I am mm -hmm. taking care of the body. So I have to take care. In fact, we are so concerned. You just see something happens in the body, and you become so concerned. So how can I just leave my leg and be in some part of the body? Okay. I'm there with the body. Nice. Is it visible properly? We can keep the light on, or we can. Okay, we can switch it off. Let's go up. Bhaiya, I have registered for ninth morning batch. Like UHV morning batch, ninth uh, batch I have registered. It was happened in the month of January. For, uh, it started in the month of January. Like uh, that was the time where uh, yeah, and, uh, that is snack work was uh, peak at our college, and we were doing a lot of NAC works. And also, I was taking UHV. Just uh, for taking UHV, I wanted to attend the classes also for my self exploration. Also, I want to attend. And I started on the second day or third day. Already, I was put up with much of work. The second day, I uh, start joining. Every day, I joined late, like uh, uh, 15 minutes late. I joined. On that day, also, I joined late. Uh, there was a person who was exploring himself, ref reflecting himself, like uh, he was problem with his HOD, like some other faculties were doing, like this. He was telling uh, some sort of things, and I thought that by morning itself, why we have to listen to all these things? Like, oh, yo, it is hectic already for me. Why I have to put it into somebody's issues? Let me come out, and I ran away from ninth batch. Like, I never turned back. I never wanted to join again. Really, it, this you, is what happened. You just you assigned the wrong meaning to us. Yeah, yeah, because I was put up with that much work <laughs> that time, and I couldn't able to manage. I want, I don't ab, uh, know how to manage balance things that time. And after uh, here, now I joined the tenth batch. Uh, today, from yesterday, I'm attending the classes. Like today morning. You were taking the class, and yesterday also you were taking the class. Like in today's morning, uh, one uh, member was discussing like about the dead person, but I didn't. I didn't feel anything uh, wrong in it. Like, uh, and I thought like, okay, fine. For that one day, I ran out. <laughs> this is today. Even yesterday, Kumar Bhaiya was taking class in the morning. That is uh, taking the session in the morning. Even in our regular day, full day, most of the session was handled by him. And today morning also Kumar Bhaiya is taking. And yesterday itself we have put up put up with much questions to Kumar Bhaiya. And today also morning itself somebody else is coming. How you are handling that? How this man is handling all these things? Like even thinking by myself, my problems, my situations, it's big headache for me. Like thinking for these three days. Like I'm self-exploring, evaluating each and everything. So okay, I should not do this. I should do this. Like it's my own problems I'm working on. This itself, it's a big headache for me. How we are handling that many questions and that many things, evaluating everything every minute. Your concentration is not missing out of boundaries. It is in and it is exploring. It is giving right answers to different type of questions. How we are handling? How many years you are in this UHV so far? <laughs> See, after some time, you also have to do the same thing. <laughs> like, is it the same condition you experienced in the beginning? Same experience of what? Like how I feel now. Self exploration itself, it's a difficult task. Like uh, evaluating every minute, analyzing That things. It's different, but each one of us is into exploration, isn't it? And each one of us has to become the resource person. Sometimes so, it's happy, Baya. Like it's so okay. So looking at the fine. state of the hall, you have to prepare yourself. Next day, I have to do the same thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the same question. It's different types of questions from everybody else. Like you are evaluating in their point of view every time, and you are saying the answers. Even in today's session, the morning session starts with a person who was talking about that uh, relative's death, and you were answering quite normal, and you. Uh, you convinced that is you explored everything like you were said everything right. Then I got sup really got surprised like how this man is sitting and talking, 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 and everything he is analyzing, evaluating, and he has to take care of himself also. How we are, that's what the biggest surprise in me now. 
Nice. We all are co-explorers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is the gradual process of development. You know, we all are into that process now. And we all have big responsibilities. We can say you are the eighth wonder of the world now. No, no, no. <laughs> we are in the process of becoming excellent, not special. <laughs> and all of us... Like... No, no, no. <laughs> no, see, you all have to do the right evaluation. You know? So that is something as a desired state. But I am also working towards that. Not, certainly not there. There is a lot more to work upon oneself. But this time the change in me is I quit, uh, that is, I quite joined the session a bit early. Like, five minutes early I'm ready with the, all the things and that's okay for me then I feel happy for it but uh, this is what the question from morning I'm having this see how many times I was asking give me mic give me mic like that I was asking nobody has given me just <laughs> 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 that's why I started talking without mic let me talk the mic will reach me automatically <laughs> <laughs> I thought of that also. Better I'll go to Kumar Bhaiya and get his mic and talk. <laughs> nice. Thank, thank you, Ji. Thank you. Yeah, so I attended the first workshop in 1996. <laughs> yes. So you are much faster, isn't it? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was in second year of my B.Tech when I attended the workshop and I met Ganesh Ji and then I started attending workshops more regularly from 97. Yes. So, yeah. So, we all are into that process, you know. See, we have to work for undivided society. 700 crore people. <laughs> And here we have 70 people. So you can see the responsibility. 70 people have to take care of 700 crore people. <laughs> 10 crore. Yes, per head. <laughs> In step 4, we are observing the distance of the self and the body. So when I am reading the sensation taking place in the body, am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Am I at a distance from the sensation? So I'm not the sensation. I'm not in the sensation. There's a distance between me and the sensation. It's something that I can see. And I don't need to assume this. I can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body from where I am at a distance from the sensation. So I can see that there's a distance between me, me and the body. And I can increase or decrease that distance. Now this part I think we can keep open for now. <laughs> but I can see. And, uh, this is something that I can observe for myself. So I am there with the body, isn't it? I am not in the body, I am not a part of the body. So I can... Outside the body for sure. Pardon? Self is outside the body. Yeah, but outside doesn't mean here. Ah. <laughs> I am here only. But I am not a part of the body. Uh, so consciousness and material can exist in the same place <clears throat> without being a part of each other. So two material entities cannot exist at the same place. This pointer and this marker cannot exist in the same place. They will be side by side. But I can be there with the body. Yeah. Uh, Bhaiya, uh, one doubt. Is it that we need to be working to uh, increase the distance between the self and body or is it that I can just uh, decide whenever I want to increase, I should increase and whenever I want to decrease, I should decrease? Yeah, what is, is the manner again. I need to be working on? Yeah. So, for time being, let us leave out <coughs> this increase or decrease. Let us just observe the distance. <coughs> we can do that, but for time being, we, not, we may not be that much prepared. So, let us just start by observing the distance. Bhaiya. Baya? Yes. Here, here. You said, na, uh, body and the self, the, any two units cannot be same in one place. They are next to next. Like No, two material. Two material. Uh, so, material with conscious, material is also occupying some 
space in the uh, space and uh, self is also occupying some space now my body is here my self is here no no not here and here here that is where my confusion is this space is occupied by my body yes. okay again in the vacuum only the self can again occupy no one so, space is occupied by one material how come on the, because yesterday ganesh ji session he said na self self is also having some space and it will also occupy if you have the development of the competency you can see that uh, form all these things then it might be occupy how can we say inside the body can even inside the body there will be a vacuum where the self will occupy if that one thing is this, that is huh? our assumption based on observation of only material Hmm. So these two material entities cannot exist at the same point. Hmm. But consciousness is not material. Consciousness is not material, but it also occupies the space. See, just think, what is acceptable to me naturally? My body is here. Huh. Where should I be? Why should I be here? Why should I be here? Why should I be there? I am here. I'm That is how it happened till you as we do, na? Like <coughs> self is there, body is here. Different two units are there. No, one is consciousness, another is material. But yeah, okay. In that case, my body will die. My self will be there, no? Yes. Ah, that time it is not in the body, na? No? It Presently is there. Presently also, it is not in the body. It is with the body. Which one? Presently also, I am not in the body. I am with the body. That is what I am asking. It is with the body. It is cannot. At the be... same point in space. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> is it encompassing the body? Just surrounding the body? or it cannot be predicted again we can observe all this but let us start observing you know the self the activity of the self first we can observe where i am okay by uh, regarding this statement uh, there is a distance between the self and body certainly it's not the physical distance i think yes. but so far as the visualization is concerned can this distance of visualizing the uh, distance between the self and body can it be variable as per our visualization that was the question probably she asked Yeah. So, like, I am there with the body. Sensation is there in some part of the body, yes. and my being is not dependent on the body. So, of course, I can, you know, be there at some distance. I can be there at some other distance. Quite possible. Possible. Yeah. Maya, here, Maya. Yeah. I have some phrase to say to Supraja, ma'am, from physics point of view. wave particle duality let us not go into that see no need for similes no need no, for, for understanding i am telling no. body is a material it will not help you understand particle it will only help you analyze something and take you somewhere else like in one workshop somebody was conducting no if they are in same place i am telling no no don't go there just observe see the moment i assume some simile there i am not observing i am only analyzing I have to observe. No, this accounts from atom. What I am telling. No need to go there. Also, see. Oh. Observe your imagination. Observe yourself. Observe your body. Observe the sensation from the body. See, we are so used to thinking that we forget about observing. <laughs> nice. So we can observe this. Yeah. That is a borrowed information. Leave it. Okay. See, let us not go by borrowed information. We have to observe it. See, it so happens that I am always there with me, and I am the biggest mystery for me because I am not observing myself. I am always moving in ideas and borrowed notions and information. Why am not observing me directly? So we can see that consciousness is there, material is there. The need is happiness and prosperity in continuity. The needs and activities are continuous in time. Now, when when I am able to see this, I am responsible to my body, which is material, whose need is only physical facility, which is temporary in time. So this feeling of responsibility toward the body is for three purposes. nurturing the body protecting the body and rightly utilizing the body when that is there the body acts according to me and the parts of the body are in harmony
is something that we have discussed you know, in introductory workshop also EHV2 also. So physical facility is required to fulfill the responsibility of the self toward the body to keep the body in good health for nurturing, protection and right utilization of the body and thus the need for physical facility can be rightly identified. So the acquired physical facility can be recognized along with the required quantity. So you can see that I require food for nurturing, clothes and shelter for protection, instruments for right utilization. So this way we can articulate that these are the three purposes for physical facility or is there some other purpose also. Do I aspire for some physical facility which is other than these three? I have to make out for myself, isn't it? So as you are saying we can evaluate the commodities in the house and look into their purpose. What is the purpose? Isn't it? So one lady attended a workshop at Masuri and there she you know, got motivated this cold thing that I am using is not going to nurture my body. And uh, some movement was also going on at that time that cold drink is a you know, bathroom cleaner. So she came to Delhi and uh, uh, like her two kids were there and they were quite fond of cold drinks. So she took them to the toilet open the commode you know, this put down this cold drink and then brushed it and showed them how clean it has become. So the two kids say that yes ma'am, yes ma'am, you know, this bathroom, this is not cold drink, this is bathroom cleaner. You have taught us the right thing today. And then they went back. And then this lady thought what to do with the rest. So took it. <laughs> <laughs> She shared in some other workshop. <laughs> and another person, another lady came and attended the workshop. She was also from Delhi. So when she, that was another workshop. She came to Delhi and then her friend called her that today only I got the news that there is a new diamond collection in the market. Let us go there. She got ready, went there in the mall, you know, in the shop. And then after spending half an hour, she selected one diamond ring. And when she went to the cash counter, this appeared to her. What is the purpose of this? Nurturing the body, protecting the body, or rightly tying the body. And then she said, okay, I don't need it. <laughs> so the quantity of food required for nurturing the body, is it limited or unlimited? The cl limited. limited. Clothes and shelter? Limited. Instruments, equipments? Limited. So you can exactly make out how much physical facility I require. So they require a limited quantity. So physical facility is required to keep the body in good health so that right utilization of the body can be ensured. That is physical facility is required only for nurturing the body, protecting the body and rightly utilizing the body. If you can see that the physical facility for nurturing, protection, right utilization of the body is required in limited quantity, then we can understand the meaning of prosperity. So prosperity is the feeling of having or producing more than required physical facility. So an important task for us is to make out the need for physical facility, isn't it? Can I make out the quantity of physical facility that I, that I require? An important task is can we make out, you know, let's say in our day to day life, the way we are transacting, can I make out the need for money that I require you know, for myself? Unless I am able to make out, make out the need for physical facility correctly, I may not have this feeling of prosperity. So this is an important doable task. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why is it always more than the required? Why is it not as per the requirement? Yes. So one reason is to share with the other. So for example, if I oh, come everybody, to house, Everybody is producing as per the requirement. Na? Suppose I require 50 units of some commodity. I am producing 50. So everybody is also producing as per the requirement. Why to share with others? Where is the need of sharing? Yeah. So let us take that. So after some time, we'll have lunch. Now somebody is producing lunch for us. Is he able to rightly make out how much food we eat? Someday we may eat less. Someday we may eat more. So he'll produce more than what is required. So even if some food is left out, fine, but nobody should be hungry. So with that feeling, you know, we produce more than what is required. So it is to share also, it is to utilize when you know, the availability is not there. And there could be occasions when the availability is not there, production is not there. So for that also we need. 
Baya also in the case uh, in our, in our own home the baby cannot go work the old people also cannot go work for them also we have to take care na no no he is saying that we can make out their needs also why more because huh. first of all it is quantitative so you cannot exactly make out how much will i eat hmm isn't it you go to the lunch table and you know, and you eat and you suddenly find a new plate coming with some special dish <laughs> so the hunger will increase <laughs> <laughs> isn't it so that may happen so this is quantitative we don't exactly know how much will i eat how many clothes i will require you brought some clothes here right now maybe while we are taking breakfast something is spilled over your clothes so you like to change so you need to have one pair at least so that you can change that, so we, that means to meet the unforeseen eventualities yes, we can say that is one thing second thing is to share with the other if i am living as a family some gift comes to my house so i should have to share with the other so here two things are required identification of the right quantity of the required physical facility with right understanding and then ensuring availability or production of more than what is required so production is required and for that we require skills so there is something that we have been reiterating that a prosperous person thinks of right utilization nurturing the other a deprived person thinks of accumulation <coughs> exploiting the other isn't it so you can see that there are two kinds of people one who are lacking physical facility unhappy and deprived and those who are having physical facility still unhappy and deprived because the right understanding is not there what we essentially want to be is to have the physical facility at the same time be happy and prosperous so now we can see that if the identification of the required physical facility is missing then one can only shift between category 1 and category 2 this is possible only with the right identification of required physical facility and the availability or production of more than the required physical facility so this is a common mistake in our living if i do not understand myself correctly then i assume myself to be the body and then i try to fulfill my need for happiness in terms of right feelings of respect trust through physical facilities like clothes and a food and then since i want to have it in continuity i try to make it unlimited and this is the problem that we can see so there is lot of accumulation of physical facility and then finally it is the state of deprivation only so even with lot of accumulation of wealth and physical facility people are deprived because they are not able to see the difference the root cause of this accumulation if you see is the lack of right understanding that you know i am i and body are two different things and then we are caught up in this loop so we have feeling a deprivation inside that i don't have enough so i make effort for more physical facility by all sorts of means you know ethical and ethical whatever and then i try to accumulate but still i have the deprivation within and then i am caught up in this loop nice so self reflection now as an assignment so if you are able to see the direct observation if you are able to see by direct observation that need for continuous happiness is the need of the self and it is fulfilled by activities of the self and not by physical facility then in the light of this now find out the need of physical facility for health of the body and for social participation estimate the quantity required do you have more than what is required do you feel prosperous isn't it so after attending the workshop you know we can see that there is a shift in the feeling of prosperity now we are able to rightly you know make out the need for physical facility do you have the feeling of self regulation in the self or self for the body so when you are eating food is it for nurturing the body or is it primarily for getting happiness out of the sensation how much is your body affected by the status of the self for example when you are angry what is its effect on the body so this is all for our self reflection as an assignment you have to observe nice so it is time for break also and so we have to keep on doing this assignment and take snacks <laughs> one request to all the participants <clears throat> so having discussed the coexistence of self and body 
we talked about the feeling of self regulation and health i will talk about the higher activities of the self so in module 3 we are studying the self in more detail so if you recollect in module 1 we took the introduction to the course in module 2 we talked about the knower known and the process of knowing now in module 3 we are studying the self in detail so in lecture 10 and 11 we talked about the self where we also went through exercises 1 and 2 and and we started observing through direct observation we had discussed the activities of the self earlier also we'll go about it once again and let us make sure that we understand each and every word on the slide now right so that whatever description is given for the self it is clear to us isn't it so we are in the process of self evolution through self exploration self verification so it might be the case that at some stage we are here we are only active at the level of expectation then presently we are active in the you know domain of imagination desire thought expectation are all active isn't it but we can see that they are unguided because they are dictated by preconditioning or sensation so this is the state of animal consciousness when we are living only with the lower activities of the self imagination is largely based on sensation and preconditioning there is a need to know i have the potential to know i have the potential to awaken to the higher potential of the self so we are in this process here yeah. we are working on this arrow hai na and for that we also have to work here in the imagination so that i am able to develop my desire also i want to develop my thought also isn't it i am able to think in terms of relationship harmony and coexistence i am able to image relationship harmony and coexistence isn't it now with self exploration we come to a stage where we are able to awaken the contemplation then understanding and determination and then finally realization and authentication so the realization is the completeness of right understanding so living with right understanding guiding the lower activities of the self we are awakening to the higher activities of the self awakening to the activities of contemplation understanding and realization so basically we are in the process of exploration we are trying to awaken the higher activities of the self we are in the process of awakening the activities of contemplation understanding and realization and then finally we are able to live with right understanding and when we are living with right understanding then the lower activities are being guided by the you know, higher level activities so we can explore and verify this so these are the activities of the self on the left hand side we can see the dynamic activities there on the right hand side the state activities there and we had looked into the meaning of all these words these ten words are clear to us realization authentication understanding determination contemplation is that clear determination okay contemplation okay contemplation is to see the participation in the larger order to see the relationship determine understanding is the understanding of harmony in the nature determination is the decision based on the understanding of harmony in the self ha acha hai okay theek hai we ispe fir isko open kar lete hain is the clarity of relationship the natural characteristic that is the participation in the larger order so i am able to see my participation i am able to see my natural characteristic i am able to see my relationship with human as well as the rest of nature this development in the self is contemplation so ultimately it is my activity it is not presently developed but when we are exploring we are verifying within you know we are in the process of developing this activity we are in the process of awakening the activity of contemplation <coughs> so like when we start exploring the feeling of trust explore the feeling of respect then in that process we are looking into relationship more closely do i want to make the other happy does the other want to make me happy when i look at the intention of me and the other 
ultimately i am looking at the relationship my natural characteristic which is my intention isn't it and it does take time we can all see it does take time because we have several preconditionings with regard to relationship you know and in fact in this whole process one thing that takes place is i am able to awaken the higher level activity and also my sanskars get purified i am able to evaluate them right so the more we are able to explore at the level of natural acceptance we are able to see our natural acceptance as well as the natural acceptance of the other our intention as well as the intention of the other so when you are asking those four questions do i want to be happy do i want to make the other happy isn't it does the other want to be happy does the other want to make me happy we are exploring the intention of myself as well as the other we are also exploring the being of myself as the as well as the other when i say do i want to make the other happy so what is this i what is this want what is happiness what is the other all those questions are pertinent it may be the case that when we are attending the introductory workshop in one go we say that yes i want to but what is this i who wants what is this want is it my desire or my natural acceptance natural acceptance hai na what is this other what is happiness yeah so all this we are exploring so we are able to awaken contemplation as well as understanding understanding of being of the self and contemplation of relation between self and self so to the extent i am able to understand the self i am also able to understand the relation of self and self if the self is not clear then i may assume this want to be my desire i may assume happiness to be excitement i may assume the other to be body so even though i am questioning these things to me i may not get the right answer i may you know respond by some assumption maybe some by by some motivation that everybody is saying yes i should also say yes <laughs> but within me am i able to see it very naturally that yes i want to make the other happy when you look at this particular question also within you then you have to question yourself what is this i this want what is this want is it some assumption is it my natural acceptance you know who is the other is it somebody in my family or outside the family somebody in the family who keeps on disturbing me somebody in the family who is very affectionate to me somebody outside the family what is happening so in the due course of time listening to the proposal verifying within validating in your experience you are able to understand it so i am able to contemplate and this is a gradual process it's not that all of a sudden i am able to contemplate on my entire participation no it is going to happen you know step by step in me and it is not the same as uh, yeah yeah so generally no we say that i am contemplating on this problem how to this software has a bug i am trying to remove it so i am contemplating that is not contemplating <laughs> removing yeah analyzing that is analyzing isn't it i am thinking deeply over it contemplating means simply looking into my participation so try to see you know one important thing which is doable here whenever you are thinking about relationship ask yourself do i want to make the other happy if you are able to see your participation with the other you see a shift in your imagination so long you are looking at the troubles created by the other the anxiety the problems the grudges you have one state of imagination the moment you are able to see that i want to make the other happy and the source of happiness is not the other it's me the source of happiness inside me you will see a complete shift in your imagination just observe it similarly understanding is the clarity of harmony in the nature the self organization the innateness so we look at the chart of the nature also you know so i am able to understand the harmony in the entire nature be it is the physical order bio order animal order human order i am able to see the innateness of every entity exploring within me i am able to see the self organization of every entity looking within me this is understanding 
and realization is to see the coexistence in the existence the submergence of nature in space now when i am able to see coexistence in existence that is i am able to see the submergence of nature in space it gets authenticated in me because now now every activity is going to be guided by this realization of coexistence so this is the dynamism with it the moment i am able to see the coexistence as it is you know a decision a natural decision is there in me to be in accordance with it there is a natural decision in me but make quiet you know create some noise so this natural decision in me <laughs> i don't know what ah in the video recording and those your problem of cold can come to this side Ah, it creates some noise. The recording will be disturbed. So observe the sensation more closely, <laughs> and keep on taking water. <laughs> Nature in space. Be aligned to it. Be in line with it. Is authentication. Similarly, the natural decision me to be in line with harmony is determination. Is that clear? Aaj, aaj sir. the natural decision in me natural that i do not have to exert anything you know from outside it is a natural decision in me to be in line with coexistence is authentication similarly the natural decision in me to be in line with harmony is determination bhaiya uh, right now when i have a feeling of relationship for someone and out of that i want to help them so at least for that moment whether this contemplation has started or it is a lower level how to make out that difference now see if i have the feeling of trust it will not be for someone it will be there for every self so one common mistake is that i am looking at the other as a body isn't it so sometimes i feel related sometimes i feel opposed but when i am able to contemplate on relationship i can see that i want to make every self happy and every self wants to make me happy but for bhaiya process of trust it 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 will start with one then few more and then few more that is how it is going to go so basically while exploring we start with some relationship huh. but when i am able to contemplate i am able to see for every relationship so <laughs> living with a feeling of relationship with some huh. i am into the process of exploring it okay one is that i am not trying to fulfill any relationship the second is i am trying to fulfill relationship some. but when i am trying to fulfill relationship as per my natural acceptance my sense of relationship grows mm. and at some point of time i am able to see the relation with self and self with every other self hmm that is contemplation hmm bhaiya determination is i determine to understand the harmony in the nature no it is a natural decision in me to be in line with harmony in the nature so it is determine in me Yeah. to be in line with so when i have come to the state of realization then the arrow will follow like this so it is a, in this process yeah sankalp means sampurnata ke arth mein kalpana shilta ka nishchit hona no that's why i am adding the word natural here i am not using any external you know force or imagination to any imagination to determine no i am just it is just natural no 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 for example a crude example not exactly this example this thing if i am able to understand that this pointer is not going to rest in air 
do I have to determine that from next day I am not going to hold it in air and put it here? Do I have to do that? Or very naturally I put it on some rigid body? That is natural. Otherwise I have to determine separately from next day. You know, even though you know, doctor has told me time and again I am eating sweet dishes and I have diabetes. I am not going to take sugar now. This is not determination. <laughs> Isn't it? This is some decision that you are making at the level of selecting and testing. Pardon? Authentication is a natural decision in me to be in line with coexistence. So when I am awakened to this level, then I can see that now my every activity is by being guided by this. The base is clear. The basis is submergence. <coughs> is that clear? So when this happens, when I have the clarity of coexistence in existence, that is the submergence. I have the clarity of harmony in nature, that is self-organization, innateness. I have the clarity of relationship, that is natural characteristic, that is participation in the larger order. Then my lower level activities are guided. Okay, we will talk about it in detail. So there are six bases of comparison here. If the awakening has not taken place, I am unguided. I have unguided senses, health and profit. So for example, I think in having more and more happiness from sensation. I think in having more and more consumption for the sake of health. I think in getting maximum from the other when I am exchanging. When they are unguided. Isn't it? So when you are, for example, you are exchanging in the market yeah, and you feel that this person is saying that you are the first one to come to the shop now, early morning time, right? So I can extract the maximum from him this time. In, in, in North, we call it Bohani. It is Bohani time. So let me reduce the price as much as I can because this person will not let me go. Now what I am doing here, I am working by profit that I have to get you know, maximum from this person by paying minimum. So I am not looking at the relationship. In fact, there was one exhibition in Noida. So some Mela was there and some mishappening took place the previous day. So the shopkeepers had come with all their preparation all the way in trucks and buses and then they had to pack up and go. So they had to pack up. So we also went on that day. We found that one person was selling uh, bed sheets. So one lady found out that now this, has to, this person has to pack up and go. So she was trying to reduce price as much as possible. And this person was so unhappy that he is not able to sell anything and so much has been invested. So you can see that like the person is working only with the sense of profit, you know, only for profit. So if it is unguided, it is like that. <coughs> Similarly, I am trying to consume as much as possible, assuming myself to be the body and I am terming it to be health. So you can see like the problem that we have now for health you know, because of overconsumption. Similarly, we are trying to get maximum pleasure from sensation. So they are unguided earlier. Now when I am awakened, they become guided. So now I am able to see that the sensation is an information from the body to me. You know, so that I can have an understanding of the health of the body. So you can, if you observe the sensation, you are able to see the state of the body. For example, if cuff has gone up, you are able to see the sensation from the nose, from the eyes, isn't it? That helps you make out that I have to have something so that the body has normal temperature. Like if the digestion is upset, you are getting some sensation which gives you a message that what to eat, what not to eat. So now they are guided, the senses are guided. You know? So we have five sense organs. Now when it is unguided, we are trying to get maximum happiness from these sense organs through sight, through touch, through smell. And you can see indulgence coming out of it. For taste, we are indulging so much. For getting favorable sound, we are indulging so much. Isn't it? To get favorable taste, we are indulging so much. And that could lead to some kind of obsession. But when it is guided, I am able to utilize my senses rightly. The ear is giving me some sensation by which I can make out. For example, if I have to speak to you and the voice is not reaching there, 
okay so i have to make my you know, voice that much sound loud so that it is audible so by getting some response from the face by seeing we can make out you know, to what extent i have to speak to what pitch i have to speak so the sensation gives me an information you know where i can see my role with the body correctly similarly when i am able to see that body is my instrument then i have the feeling of self regulation so with coexistence harmony and justice awakened they are guided now in place of working for maximum profit now i am able to see my relationship with human being as well as the rest of nature so i have to see in my any profession whether it is mutually fulfilling or not if i am running a factory <coughs> then i have to see that the profit that i am earning it is able to fulfill the needs of all the families it is also able to need, fulfill the need you know for the people who are consuming my goods isn't it so now the thought is for mutual fulfillment mutual happiness and mutual prosperity and not profit centric similarly when this is awakened then sensation is guided by coexistence harmony and justice so at the level of tasting i am not trying for excitement anymore you know i am tasting still sensation but that is in terms of participation in the larger order i am utilizing the body i am utilizing the information so this is the state of the self with right understanding awakened to contemplation understanding and realization now with this awakening i am behaving with human being i am working with the rest of nature i am participating in the larger order anything which is not clear yeah so state means that i come to see it and gets stated in me it is there in me now i have been able to see the relationship i have been able to see the harmony i have been able to see the submergence and there is a dynamism associated with it for example when i am able to see the relationship now i image accordingly i image every time in terms of relationship harmony and coexistence so that is a dynamism it gets expressed further with my body so presently when we are imaging a happy and prosperous life it could be dictated by preconditioning or sensation now it is guided by contemplation understanding realization so the dynamic activity is the decision associated with the state activity bhaiya in block uh, b2 block testing and comparing in both the lines we have written guided senses and guided sensation are they different or say, similar to each other we'll talk about it in detail there are three kinds of testing we'll talk about that in detail only difference is that sensation and senses okay i'll come to that okay i'll come to that we'll rephrase it comparing is state activity comparing as state activity still i am not able to get so when i am comparing between various options you know what is the basis for comparing for example do you have to make some selection let's say we have to make a selection for cloth so one could be the color which is coming from sensation one could be i am going to get respect out of it that could be some preconditioning and i am not able to see the relationship but when i want to see the you know relationship with my body so i have the feeling of self regulation i want to see my relation with the other human being so i am able to see that it is not for respect isn't it it is to protect the body and to share the feeling that i have with the other similarly i am able to see the way the fabric has been produced is it in line with the harmony of the nature or not so if animals have to be killed for that if plants have to be destroyed for that i will not go for that so na bhaiya is Pardon? that uh, uh, for example if it is summer season uh, we will have the sensation of wearing cotton dresses so is it not natural acceptance in the summer season we have like if for summer season we we'll opt for uh, uh, dresses accordingly like cotton cloth yes, if so it is uh, for the health of the body uh, that so is it could be self regulation uh, i cannot put on a jacket here or a sweater uh, here so that's what i'm saying <laughs> okay we right. can decide right and if the workshop was being conducted in winter season particularly in the north so you cannot just do by one kurta you, know? <laughs> you have to prepare yourself well so the question is it is natural 
yeah so the na like being responsible to the body for health is natural acceptance So let me come back to this again. Think about the color and type of the dress, and again, the it is already there within me. Then what about the analysis part of that? Yeah. So I analyze it. I analyze that if I take this cloth, then what will happen? I analyze my living with that cloth. Okay. So analysis means breaking into several parts. Hmm. And do I use it in my office? Do I use it at home? Do I use it in the market? Do I use it in my है ना इन लॉस प्लेस सो आई एनालाइज ऑल दोस थिंग्स दैट एनालिसिस पार्ट बट दैट एनालिसिस इज ऑल्सो देयर विद इन मी एज ए स्टेट एक्टिविटी बिकॉज आई एम श्योर दैट इफ आई एम टेकिंग दिस क्लोथ्स आई कैन यूज इट फॉर ए फंक्शन और आई कैन यूज इट कैजुअली समथिंग या सो एनालिसिस एंड कंपेयरिंग विल गो टुगेदर इट विल गो टुगेदर ओके सो आई एम कंपेयरिंग बिटवीन वेरियस ऑप्शंस एंड एनालाइजिंग एवरी ऑप्शन ओके दैट इज देयर what uh, suppose expectation is followed thought uh, thought follows uh, desire is it um, uh, always like that or without uh, thought uh, we can have expectation or uh, without uh, desire we, uh, without thought we can have just desire yeah we took an example earlier also so it may be the case that something occurs to me and in my thought and i expect something to happen this may happen right it may also happen that i am able to sense something from the sense organs so i get some sensation from outside and it triggers my thought like the example that we are taking that somebody purchased a very costly mobile i saw that mobile now it has started triggering my thought i am analyzing how to go for it so that yes. may also happen so individually also possible eh, to happen yes so here with without right understanding there is complete half a jar here Yes, sir. yes. There is no definite order here. Yeah. The order is there only with right understanding. If so right now understand. that hmm. I have come to, you know, ensure right understanding in me, so my imaging is not definite in terms of continuity of happiness. Where that only I am analyzing and comparing. Now, if somebody comes with a mobile, that costly mobile, I am able to make out whether I need it or not. That gets evaluated that very moment. If I need it, you know, then fine. So I decide from here now, right understanding. If we have some trust on others, uh, based on feedback given by others, directly we can go for selecting and tasting. No, then this takes place very fast because I no longer yes. have contradictions in the self. Yes, so when I have trust on the other, I no longer doubt the intention of the other. Yes. So very naturally, I am interacting with the other with a feeling of trust, and I am you know, rightly evaluating the other. Yes, sir. Yes. Otherwise. by looking at the expression of the other i may carry doubts in me yes yes you know does yes. this person want to insult me by saying this does this person want to you know pin me down by arguing to me i may have these kinds of doubts but yes. if i have the right understanding you know there is harmony here there is no more contradiction or conflict here yes that thank is the state of happiness yes thank you nice so now we could go through all the words so right understanding is essentially seeing that is knowing the essence of the reality as it is that is seeing the part of the reality that is definite universal and continuous so what is definite universal and continuous so natural characteristic innateness and coexistence so the natural characteristic is participation in the larger order that is relationship innateness is self organization that is harmony and coexistence that is submergence coexistence so through higher activities of the self you know i am able to contemplate i am able to understand i am able to realize so ultimately there are only nine things to see if you try to put them in numbers nine things isn't it so innateness of the four orders natural characteristic of the four orders and coexistence that's all very simple <laughs> so four orders four things to see here in terms of innateness in terms of natural characteristic yes yes we can change it we can make a natural characteristic above and then bring innateness here yes 
Now people have become very observant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now we can see that. Eh? Yeah. See that you are able to make out the meaning of every sentence. Nice. No, no, no. The participation, relationship. So when you look at the four orders, you can see innateness of each of these orders, something that we were discussing yesterday during the practice session. So when I look at the physical order, the innateness is existence. In the bio order, the innateness is existence plus growth. In the animal order, innateness is existence plus growth in the body and the will to live in I. In the human order, existence plus growth in the body and will to live with continuous happiness in I. Looking at the natural characteristic, it is composition decomposition in the physical order. Composition decomposition plus nurture version in the bio order. So you take several examples, know how it can be nurture, 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 version, 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 you know? version, nurture. So all those possibilities are here. But that is the way one bio unit interacts with the other bio unit. Then in the animal body, the same thing as bio order and as a characteristic, we can see cruelty and non-cruelty in the self, isn't it? So some animals are primarily cruel, some animals are primarily non-cruel, but the cruel animal can also turn non-cruel, the non-cruel can also turn cruel. There was one you know, uh, post on the Facebook where the tiger is there and the tigress is there and the tiger is sulking because the tigress is there. <laughs> so the cruel can also turn non-cruel. <laughs> now when you look at the human order, the natural characteristic is perseverance, bravery and generosity in the self. Right? Now we can also look at the inheritance. This is something that we have studied in UHV2. But if there is any question, if any word is not clear, you know, let us so ask and discuss. What is the meaning of cruelty here? Exactly cruelty. cruelty means being violent to the other entity. So to fulfill the need, the tiger has to kill the deer. You asked something yesterday, na, similar. <laughs> yes. Like? This is only our interpretation. Right? This is only a natural transaction happening outside. We are giving a meaning to it. Yeah, so now we have to assign some word. Yes. So we can see that one animal to fulfill the needs of the body is killing some other animal. Or two animals are fighting for food and you know, injuring each other. Now, what word is to be given to this? So it is, it is natural for the animal. But we have to see what it is. So when we look at the animal vis-a-vis -vis the human being, we do not like to fight for food. We do not like to kill anyone for food. Isn't it? Yeah, so it is natural characteristic for the animal. Okay. But we can see what is happening. You may call it something else, you may call it X or Y. That animal kills another animal for food. You know? Call it that way, you can call it X or Y. But we can see what is happening there. Some animal is afraid, some animal is dominating, some is violent, some is you know, running out of fear. Those tendencies we can see in the animals. Is there anywhere related to the state of evolution of the self? State of? Yeah, yeah. So, there you can see. You know. So, for example, if you look at the animal, 
the conduct of animal is largely dictated by the body so the body has that kind of composition like the claws are there teeth are there intestine is there the whole structure of the body is like that so it has to depend on killing some animal to fulfill the needs of the body it is like that and since it is largely dictated by body so the same self with coexisting with an animal body which is cruel will behave with cruelty cruelty is there in the self but it is dictated by the structure of the body yeah, uh, why is that left free? which one coming to the self <coughs> human being here here ah. yeah so that no we are saying that now with right understanding you will become purple no longer yellow <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we are drawing this arrow no with right feeling right thought based on right understanding i am having this earlier i was only seeking this in fact we, there can be two states here one could be animal consciousness the other is human consciousness so it is animal consciousness here we'll add those three words ha uh, dinta hinta wretchedness hai na cunningness and cruelty Yeah, yeah. So here we are only calling it as cruel, non-cruel. But when it comes to animal consciousness, that is a human being living like an animal. We are giving three words there. So the first thing is wretchedness. So I am not able to see that I can fulfill my own needs, either of the self or the body. So this lack of confidence in me is wretchedness. Then what do I do? So I live like a timid fellow. One possibility, or I use tricks to fulfill my needs. that is cunningness or i use force to fulfill my needs that is cruelty so in the society we can see all the three kinds of people are there but at the base it is wretchedness because unless i have the right understanding right feeling all of us you know are in that state only from there we are moving ahead so with that wretchedness inside right we are trying to work for perseverance bravery and you know this uh, generosity what can be fit in so we'll write here wretchedness you uh, know uh, cunningness and cruelty yeah with this purple color after realization what is the actual state of the self in human being this one this three yes yes with right understanding so the human being living like an animal you know he living with animal consciousness that can be placed here but again we'll say that this is not the natural characteristic of the human order we are living like an animal but that is not acceptable to us naturally so we'll not call it as a natural characteristic of human order but a person living with animal consciousness is living like that because that is not acceptable to me naturally it is not acceptable to me naturally to be wretched to be cunning to be cruel Yeah so here it is not only non cruelty see non cruelty could be wretched this also if you look at some animals they live with fear mouse rabbit cow if you look at them they live generally with fear so they are non cruel but living with fear so you also don't want to live with fear you want to live with calm space so human beings can be acting as non cruelty that's what i'm saying non cruelty is not enough just being non cruel is not enough so i live with fear somebody may come and exploit me i am always in fear but i am not living with human consciousness then because this state is not acceptable to me naturally is that fine if you look at the inheritance because we'll you know uh, cover all the columns here if you look at the inheritance and we have discussed earlier also in the physical order it is constitution based so the way the constitution is there of the atoms and molecules and you know, the conduct is exhibited here in the bio order it is seed based the way the design of the seed is and you know, the conduct is decided in the animal order it is breed based so cruel breed or non cruel breed the way it is and you know, the conduct is exhibited but we can see here that is the education sanskar based So something that we were discussing yesterday also in the FAQ session there that 
for human being it is completely education sanskar based to whatever part of the society i belong to whatever region hai na community i belong ultimately it is education sanskar that decides my conduct it is not decided by birth or the race or the caste or whatever you can say not by the breed it is completely decided by the education and sanskar now activity you can see in the physical order there is activity of formation deformation there is formation deformation plus respiration all this is clear we have discussed in h2 also now you have to prepare yourself to give demo sessions those who are not giving demo sessions have to come on sunday morning to give demo sessions <laughs> Yeah. Yes. In this activity of the human, um, it includes all the activities, no? Imaging, analysis, and I think testing, no? But it includes all the other activities also, no? Both human and animal, all that. So if you look at human being, it has all the nature. All the nature. Okay. The conscious entity is there. Material entity is there. Material entity is there. Yeah. The material entity has all the things for physical order. Also the bio order. Yeah, that I understand. Isn't and the self is there, are developed as compared to animal order. That I understand. But why we did not mention this contemplation or the activity part? Here. Okay. So we are saying that presently it is potential, but we can write here contemplation, understanding, realization. Yes, yes. That is there. Yeah. Now, if I am not having right understanding and not getting right education, my imagination may be dictated by all this genetics and the composition of the body. But when I am having the right understanding, it is not going to dictate me anymore. You will see that in the same family, one child is very generous, the other is very cruel. That may happen. So there is no way associated with inherent in the body. Yeah. So in the human being, the self is more you know, dominant, you may say, or prevailing. In the animals, the body is more prevailing in the conduct. Now here we can see, you know, the units that are there. Fine. This all is clear. Take a mic. Same family, different people means there are people who cannot be um, educated. No, not like that. See, it's only the process of self-exploration that has to be evolved. That's all. Will they be ready to? We have been conducting workshop in jails. They are not ready to learn today from you. That's all. <laughs> Tomorrow they may learn from you or somebody else. That option has to be given. See, it may be the case that our students were considering us hopeless earlier. Now they are able to see the hope in us. <laughs> Both would be there. Generally non-cruel, but it can at times turn cruel. So it is used in wars, if you see. And with tusk, it does so much damage. So it can turn... Pardon? Yeah, yeah. So they are trained to be cruel when they are used in wars. And the tiger and leopard are trained to be non-cruel when they are in you know, <laughs> Jew. <laughs> or in circus. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have a question. Yes. In the inheritance, it is that, that uh, uh, for human beings, it is education sanskar based. So does that mean that when the child is born, he is coming with a clean slate. Everything is from education. Or the previous sanskar will be carried on. Yeah. So that also will be there. That so will that be there. That comes in the sanskar part. Yes. 
नाइस सो कंटेम्पलेशन इज ऑफ माई पार्टिसिपेशन इन द लार्जर ऑर्डर सो एवरी यूनिट हैज अ डेफिनेट पार्टिसिपेशन इन एग्जिस्टेंस अ डेफिनेट रोल टू प्ले इन द एग्जिस्टेंस एंड टू बी एबल टू सी दिस रोल दिस पार्टिसिपेशन इन रिलेशनशिप विद अदर यूनिट्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज कंटेम्पलेशन सो इन केस ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग इट मीन्स ट्राइंग टू सी वॉट इज माई रोल इन दिस एग्जिस्टेंस वॉट इज माई पार्टिसिपेशन इन द लार्जर ऑर्डर इन द फैमिली इन द सेल्फ इन द फैमिली सोसाइटी इन नेचर एग्जिस्टेंस सो इन द सेल्फ उन मीन वॉट इज द पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ माई एक्टिविटीज विद इन मी आर माई थाट्स मेकिंग मी अनहैप्पी और दे आर मेकिंग मी हैप्पी आर दे क्रिएटिंग अनरेस्ट इन मी और दे आर है ना एट पीस विद इन मी सो दे इज अ रोल ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ सेल्फ ऑल्सो विद इन द सेल्फ Similarly, what is my role in the family? What is my role in the society? What is my role in the nature existence? What is my value in this existence? That is the human value. So when we say human value, ultimately we are trying to see our role in this existence. Relationship of mutual fulfillment with the human being, leading to mutual happiness, leading to undivided society based on trust, respect, affection, up to love. With this, I can see that I have a definite role to play as a human being. then my desire is to fulfill that definite role my desires become definite i can see that there is every provision for fulfillment of these desires in the nature and this leads to the feeling of satisfaction or contentment in me so now i can see that i have desire in terms of relationship harmony and coexistence and there is already a provision in the nature to fulfill my desire that gives me satisfaction when i am able to make out that my need for physical facility is limited and i can see that i can produce more than what is required and there is enough to produce in the nature that very naturally gives me the feeling of satisfaction when i am able to see that i want to make the other happy and everyone else wants to make me happy already there is a provision for mutual happiness this gives me satisfaction presently we have to design so many things so that i can have happy i can live happily with this other person isn't it we have to think so much but gradually we are able to see that no already there is a provision this person wants to make me happy only that he is not awake not awakened i also want to make other happy only that i am not awakened only that we have to get in line with coexistence the provision is already there in the whole existence and you know, it is me who is conditioned otherwise else you know things are there in order so this gives me satisfaction contentment understanding of harmony that is self organization in the nature so all units in the nature can be classified into four orders these units and the four orders have definite innateness or self organization which can be understood this definiteness born out of understanding leads to a feeling of bliss so when i understand this i am determined to live with my self organization my innateness my harmony and then i facilitate the self organization of other units so this is state when i able to see the order the harmony all around and nothing is there in disorder everything there is in order the whole nature is there in order isn't it no need to struggle there is no struggle in the nature only that i was not able to see it rightly when i see this i feel you know in a state of bliss similarly i realize the coexistence i can see that existence is coexistence which is in the form of unit submerged in space and every unit in nature is energized in space self organized in space and thus exists in a definite order it recognizes its relationship with every other unit and fulfills that relationship in space this when seen in the case of the self as a unit i am a unit of consciousness in space i am energized in space activities of desire thought expectation are continuous in me i am self organized in space i exist in a definite order i can recognize my relationship with other units and fulfill it when i do i feel happy when i do not i feel unhappy with this i live with authenticity in continuity so this is something that we call as you know we can call as super bliss when i able to see the entire existence as coexistence so this is something that we discussed we'll discuss more in detail about this in the next lecture so we can recap step 5 6 and 7 of exercise 1 so we did up to exercise step 4 today so in step 4 of exercise 1 we have seen that ultimately it is myself who is taking decisions about my feeling 
In step 5, we see that this decision about the feelings for any particular reality, say a human being, is on the basis of our understanding of that reality or in the absence of that understanding, our assumption about it. This essentially means that it is based on natural acceptance or our assumption about that reality. Natural acceptance is rooted in these three hierarchies of the self. In step 6a, we are investigating what is acceptable to us naturally. We have discussed this, you know, the same thing reiterated here. I am asking myself, so in step 5, I am asking the basis for my decision making. Is it right understanding or some assumption? In step 6a, I am investigating what is acceptable to me naturally. So somebody was asking, you know, different between step 2 and step 6. So in step 2, I am observing my feeling and asking myself whether it is acceptable to me naturally or not. In step 6, I am seeing what is acceptable to me naturally. Anna? So as the feelings of relationship, harmony and coexistence is naturally acceptable, we are trying to understand this. Understanding relationship means to see our relationship with every unit of the existence and to fulfill that relationship. Understanding harmony means to see that continuous happiness is our innateness. And understanding coexistence means to, see, to be able to see that I am, I the self, am in coexistence in space, submerged in space, and so is every other unit in space. And then we'll briefly recap five, six, seven steps. So in step 5, we are looking at the basis for the decision making, whether it is right understanding or assumption. So I am finding out the basis on which I decide my feeling, my thought in relation with any particular reality. Is it right understanding or assumption? When I decide my feeling, the thought on the basis of right understanding, I am able to decide in favor of a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me. Those who have been there in the morning session are acquainted with it. You know, we have been discussing it. I remain comfortable, I remain in harmony, in a state of happiness within. When I decide my feeling, thought, on the way some assumption, a preconditioning, it is not definite which feeling I decide for. A feeling which is acceptable to me naturally or otherwise, it will depend upon the assumption and with this state, you know, with this my state is indefinite, uncomfortable or comfortable sometimes, in harmony sometimes, sometimes in contradiction, sometimes happy, sometimes unhappy. So from this I can see that the need for right understanding and the need for deciding my feeling, thought on the basis of right understanding is there, independent of whether things outside are fine or not fine. When I am able to see that, you know, I am the one who is making decisions, I am the one who is making decisions, what we are? then I am trying to see the basis. That is feeling decided on the basis of right understanding that is block B1, which is natural and definite. So when it is based on assumptions, I am here. When it is based on right understanding, I am here. So every time when I ask myself what is the basis, maybe I am not able to trace even my assumption or even you know, the understanding part. So I will keep it open and keep on observing what decides my feeling. Is it right understanding? If yes, then what? If it is assumption, then what? What assumption I am carrying within? So one assumption could be I am assuming myself with the body. I am assuming relationship on the basis of body. Assuming my needs to be unlimited. I am assuming physical facility to be happiness. These all assumptions could you know, dictate my imagination. So I have to look into it. So through that, we are able to make out our sanskars. In step 6, then we are asking you know, what is acceptable to us naturally. And then we can see that feeling that are natural for me, that I want in continuity are relationship, harmony and coexistence. Therefore, I need to ensure this in me. This decision is there in step 6, that I need to work for it, I need to ensure it. So step 6 is done in two parts. 6a is I am verifying what is acceptable to me naturally. Relationship or otherwise, harmony or otherwise, coexistence or otherwise. And here I am able to see that this is acceptable to me naturally. So every step may take time. Put in words briefly, we say relationship. But we can see how much does it take to fulfill the relationship, to understand the relationship. How much does it take to understand the harmony in the nature? Isn't it? 
and when you are observing within keep it open no need to you know, directly label it as harmony or disharmony relationship or opposition just keep it open observe see the feeling within and then try to make out what is acceptable to you naturally now in step 7 we By are ensuring the feelings uh, yeah. previous slide uh, one doubt here if with certain bodies if it is naturally acceptable for me to not to have a relationship is it correct what is acceptable to you naturally to have relationship i don't want to have a relationship why? is it correct for example why huh? why uh, probably the way the communication is happening yeah i am not happy with it so i am deciding my relationship based on the expression or the conduct now ask yourself do you want to make them happy or not maybe at that moment i am not wanting to make them happy yeah so at that moment try to observe when you are trying to contemplate trying to observe see that with that person what is my natural acceptance i want to make him or her happy or unhappy ask yourself hai na probably at that moment when i am uh, contemplating it felt that i am okay with not making the other person happy yeah now when you say i am okay with it means it is not a natural acceptance since i am not able to fulfill it mm. and i do not want to involve myself that much because it is taxing for me okay i am trying to avoid that could be possible mm. so some relationships are taxing me the more i involve myself the more taxed i feel isn't it that could be the case that is at the level of conduct my conduct as well as conduct of the other you know that is something to do with the level of competence uh, yeah i am at that level <clears throat> when i am at that level is it fine to have such a feeling and go with it go with it but keep on very fine what is acceptable to you naturally to make them happy or make them unhappy and so we can keep on asking it may be the case and see when you are looking at the other it may be the case that i am not looking at my lack of competence the example that we take no that the glass broke accidentally by me but the other broke the glass something happened in the past i saw their face and the expression was not okay but i did not see my face isn't it maybe i gave gave some smile which was not okay i did not see that smile to myself but the other person saw it isn't it so i might have heard the other in the past which i am not aware of and you can see these are triggering points somebody came to talk to you and you know, with a feeling of relationship and you avoided right you avoided decisively and talked with other person ignored this person for example i'm just give an example the other may feel hurt i am not aware of that you know because our level of awareness may be less the other noted it i did not note it now when i go to talk to the other the person i avoided i i noted it and then i said this person i don't know what he or she thinks of himself herself right i'll show to him or her you know what am i <laughs> for example so i am not noting my behavior my expression my words just do one thing when you are behaving with somebody some heated debate is there in the house you know and if you just can recall it's not advisable to record you know but <laughs> but you can recall what all i said and just listen to yourself you might not have used the right words at the right pitch you know you might have pointed a finger at the other you are not noted the other when he points out the finger at you you noted you know <laughs> this all might happen maya one small clarification only maya yes the last last like uh, some mothers uh, right understanding uh, can be a uh, preconditioning for me for they for them it's correct the i think like uh, that may be a preconditioning for my activities is there any possibility yes see presently when we are working at the level of imagination we are not exactly able to make out what is right understanding what is conditioning but the way i keep on exploring within i verify at the level of natural acceptance i am able to see much better much closer so earlier i was assuming that i had the right understanding now i am able to see that it was wrong 
and it was some assumption. You will be able to see so many times. I was assuming to be right earlier. I can see now that it is not right. Maybe I do not go to the other and say sorry. That may not be required also at times. But now I am able to see that it was not right. And you can see that when you observe your feeling and the higher level activities are not awakened. Very precisely put, you are not able to find yourself comfortable any time. <laughs> so when I am always at discomfort with me, how can I be comfortable in relationship? The comfort that I have at times, that also may be because of some favorable condition or situation, but not owing to my right understanding. It is some external influence that is working at times, not working at times. Isn't it? So once I am clear that it is the feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence that is natural for me and this lead to the state of harmony and happiness. Then all that I need to do is to ensure that the feeling that I have at this moment is in line with relationship, harmony and coexistence. By ensuring this feeling every moment, I will be in a state of harmony and therefore happiness at this moment, the next moment, every moment. And I am going to be in a state of continuous happiness. So in step 7, we are saying that ensure it now. Once I am able to decide that it is only relationship that is acceptable to be naturally, not opposition. So ensure it, isn't it? So that's how we say, you know, that if there is a scanner over me, observing me, and then see, you know, how I behave, how I do, isn't it? How I act. <laughs> yeah, if you look at happiness to be in harmony based on contemplation, understanding, realization. Yes. <laughs> also, Baya, I have a doubt. Like, uh, the nature is in its horn, that is, is in harmony state, right? And it's already divided all the discriminations like male, female, everything is divided society, divided things only. Then how can we work for making it into one? Because the nature itself is divided and it's in harmony. And how, uh, how far it will be possible to make it into undivided society altogether as a one? So it's not divided, it's classified. So the classification is there, not division is there. So male and female are there, but they are complementary. So Though, but yeah, the females are going through that motherhoods and all, lots of pain is there. Like much of difficulties are there for females than male. Why this discrimination is there in nature itself? Why it is already divided like this? <laughs> Why the other gender is not experiencing these kind of uh, fe uh, feelings and all? The <laughs> Why they gender? are that much uh, excitement what? always, not in happy state? You know? Nowadays, no. There are some reels on uh, YouTube where women are speaking in favor of men. See what they go through. We speak so many things, they have to tolerate. You know? <laughs> but then we are, uh, <laughs> no, I sir, I, see it's all about like. Baya, I would like to add to what she is asking. Okay, nature has kept us separately, and each one of us have certain characteristics that we did not follow. We started, uh, or to say, refining among ourselves. Nature has told that we would be at home and we take care of our generation of people. It's not nature, madam. It's the society who made me do no, things. No, nature it's has like, been like that. We created that. Right from the beginning, you are a mother, you are a divine person, you are going to take care of your child. Like that, it it has given all the uh, thoughts in me like I am a divine Na person. Did like nature give that to thought me. or society give that society thought? Society has given me, but I do accept it. Like I am the divine person because I have given birth to my children <laughs> like that, right? Uh, work for uh, the wealthiness of the family. Yeah. So you have to do, see the composition, decomposition of the body and act accordingly. You know? So the child has one kind of body, 
and a grown up has one kind of body male has one kind of body female has so you have a role to play based on the you know self and the body position together we have a role to play so we are, we can see our role the problem is that i am not able to see my role properly then i am unhappy if i want to see my role properly then fine i go by it pardon Yeah. So, see, presently, no. Since we have not been working for right understanding with sincerity, so we have come to a stage where the physical facility has become the focus of living. Understanding is not at the focus, isn't it? And that's how the whole disorder is there. Otherwise, with right understanding, we can decide our role properly, isn't it? So, looking at the same thing, Anna, we can see how. this is guided imagination is guided by right understanding and how my behavior is mutually fulfilling and showing mutual happiness and leads to undivided human society similarly my work with the rest of nature i am able to ensure mutual prosperity and while participating in the larger order i am able to fulfill human goal leading to universal human order and generation by generation it forms the human tradition something that we had discussed so on one end i have to work for realization of coexistence on the other end i have to work for universal human order and human tradition so within me the program is you know to keep on working for awakening of the higher level activities but that is going to be done when i participate in the larger order otherwise i may be just working at the level of thought and assuming that i have come to understand isn't it i attend a workshop and i feel that now i have trust for every human being isn't it and if i go home and the person doesn't open the door <laughs> i am simply you know furious isn't it so i have to participate in the larger order and this is something that we keep on saying you know if you look at the workshop the meetings the morning session that unless i do this i am not also that sincere that motivated to contemplate to understand to realize so i have to see whether my behavior with human being is mutually fulfilling or not with the rest of nature it is mutually fulfilling or not whether my goal of life is in line with human goal or not what is goal what is my goal of life try to make out and whether it is in line with human goal or not you may see a wide gap also at times i had a director some time back he had set a goal that by the age of 65 he has to sit in uno and i am not just see that he has set this kind of goal and he is all the time perturbed by that doing something or the other so that he can you know come to the front and then get some name and fame and get there so is my goal in line with human goal or not am i working for right understanding in every human being prosperity in every family fearlessness in society coexistence in nature do i make the goal of my child on the same line what is my vision for happy and prosperous life for my child is it in line with human goal or otherwise we are serious issues you know that may take time because many times we are under peer pressure many times we are dictated by the norms of society isn't it we might have certain apprehensions certain fears certain contradictions if i want to see this very clearly i can see this for myself my child the next generation i can see the whole generation as my child isn't it there is one lady you know this girl geta thunberg she keeps on saying that who gave you the authority to destroy the planet so that it is not fit for use for us <laughs> isn't it so we are consuming this much that two generations hence they will not have enough facilities on the planet we will extract all the oil all the gases you know destroy all the plants so many forests are being burned because they have mineral reserves beneath a major forest is being burned now what will happen to the climate 
So the children are asking now that are you the one who is going, who is possessing this planet so that it is not fit for use to us? So are we thinking on those lines? Because our children are going to ask this. Why did you pollute this air so much? <laughs> the dark brown cattle from childhood. Now you can say, no, no, it's not me, it's the people. <laughs> so realization within and expression outside. So every time I have to relate myself to these two ends. When I'm participating, is my vision going up to universal human order? When I'm trying to contemplate, is my vision going up to the state of realization that I have to realize the whole existence of coexistence? These are the states in the self, bliss, satisfaction, peace and happiness that we discussed. So this is something that we discussed earlier also. So if you look at the content of right understanding, coexistence, harmony of four orders, so four written here, natural characteristic of the four orders, so four written here, so altogether nine things to you know, understand. So 3.1 is right understanding, isn't it? which is there in block B1. 3.2 is wisdom, which is there at the level of desire. So I am able to contemplate the participation as well as image the human goal. Followed by science, which is there in block B2. You know? So the plan, program, implementation, evaluation, all these will come here. 3.4 is behavior, 3.5 is work, 3.6 is participation. 3.7 is underwear society, 3.8 universal human order, 3.9 is that tradition. And this is in congruence with my wisdom. If you look at one, continuous happiness, so it is here. Fine. So easier said than done. You know? <laughs> So only this much is to be done. <laughs> what? The old question still remains unanswered. That is justice guided senses and justice guided sensation. Okay, okay, fine. We'll in fact correct it. Some more words have to be added there. We'll come to that. So it is goal value guided senses. We'll come to that. It is just to indicate that because you did not want to introduce new words, so we are just using the same words. You know, so that's how we are writing it. So it is fine. Uh, sensation is here. Sensation is here. Earlier we had placed sensation there. No, it is guiding. Uh, an arrow can be placed here. But both are justice guided, na? Pardon? Both are justice guided only. So the input is same. Driving force is same. Yeah. Yes, all three are guiding. Upper one is justice guided, lower one is also justice guided. See, all three guiding these three. Okay, all three means coexistence, harmony and justice. Yeah, these three are guiding now senses, health and profit. At the level of comparing. Here at the level of testing, coexistence, harmony and justice are guiding sensation. Health and profit not there. Pardon? Health and profit is not there in the lower most No, part. no, no, no. These three put together. We can put a bracket there, small bracket. The small bracket, all these three put together, guiding all these three put together. See, if you look at coexistence. In the comparing uh, row, there is health Senses, and profit. comma, health, comma, profit, all these three. And in the lower most, that is testing row, the sensation is there, but health and profit is not there. Uh, yes. Because they are at the level of comparing, not testing. Okay. So it is there at the level of comparing, not testing. Fine. So as an assignment, we need to investigate into our natural characteristic, innateness and coexistence. So is it being in relationship that is feelings in relation? Is it being in harmony that is state of happiness? Is it being in coexistence that is submerged in space? And then we can you know, 
find it out what do you understand by bliss satisfaction peace and happiness so let me ask what is bliss <laughs> we defined it what is bliss hmm <laughs> so understanding of harmony what is satisfaction contemplation of participation what is peace at the lower thought what is that peace so we can say you know coexistence harmony and relationship guided senses health and profit so free of contradictions no more contradictions in the thought you know so i am in a state of peace and happiness yeah theek <laughs> hai okay nice agla shuru kar dete agla shuru kar dete thing and testing more in detail so the higher activities guiding the lower activities so when the higher activities are guiding imaging that is desire so what we understand <coughs> understand through higher activities that is coexistence harmony and relationship that guides our desire imaging our desire is to live in accordance with coexistence harmony and relationship for example to live with values in human human relationship becomes our desire so now our desire is guided our imaging is guided so we have some image of happy and prosperous life now with right understanding now imaging is guided what happiness means hai na what is the meaning of a happy life isn't it now it is properly guided it is not something based on sensation or preconditioning the source is inside not outside so whatever image i now i have is in line with wisdom isn't it it is in line with human goal higher activities guiding thought that is analyzing and comparing so when it is unguided if you look at comparing okay we can place comparing here so if you look at the comparing there could be six bases of comparing presently only three bases are active when it is unguided so it is unguided because we are dictated by preconditioning or sensation so the comparing here is on these three bases so when i go to compare between choices isn't it so it could be on the basis of appealing to senses or conducive to health or you know based on profit making things like that so for example you take let's say now you have to purchase a car right so when it is guided by right understanding then you will try to find out whether i need the car or not what is the purpose is it for nurturing the body protecting the body or rightly utilizing the body and then you make the right decision otherwise it could be appealing to senses you went to somebody's house he had brought a new long shining red car you know and he took you for a ride and just showed to you how comfortable it is such a smooth ride you see flying in the air and you get that sensation and you come back home and start counting your savings you know can i also get this car or not so it is born out of sensation or it could be some health related issue some consumption so you have one car and but still why not have two cars <laughs> one car is enough right why not have two everybody is purchasing more than one cars why not go for two why not go for three a person was caught on the charges of corruption in delhi and at that time he had 1000 houses <laughs> now this is madness this is obsession for indulgence 1000 houses 
100 cars, yes. Yeah, always in fear, wretched fellow. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Feature on the mic. Yes. My parents were government employees. So after their retirement, uh, they are getting pension and they are living peacefully. Myself and my husband are working for a private concern. We don't have pensions. So maybe after 58 or 60, we will be retired. After that, how to earn money? So to plan for that, we have bought two to three houses now. So, so maybe... The rental, which was, uh, I mean, based on the rental income, we can, uh, I mean, survive after our retirement. This was our plan. Is it right or wrong? Yeah, so you have to make out the need for facilities, you know, either directly or in terms of money. And you have to see whether these sources of income are going to be enough for me or they are much more than required. So you are not having houses for accumulation. You are trying to use it as a pension. Yeah, exactly. So, that could be fine. Fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, but again you have to see what are the other sources of income. There is only one house. You know, we are counting for pension or the, some other savings are also there. And put together, am I able to see how much I require in the old age? Yes. So, if it is unguided, I may keep on accumulating for consumption. Isn't it? Similarly, I may keep on working for profit. How much profit I require? Not clear. And for that, I may you know, be doing so many things. You just see, so many startups are coming. They blossom in the beginning. Go to unicorn. After two years, they are a fiasco, a complete failure. So many startups. You know? Why? Because they will show a false image to the public. And they will take so much of, you know, invest in the stock market and get so many shares and all. And after some time, they know that it is going to fail. And they are running away here and there. I am not naming any. You know? But you can see so many startups. For the madness of profit, the obsession for profit, yes. Eh? <laughs> I'm not naming anyone. <laughs> yeah. Now in the pre-wedding ceremony you are investing so much, right? and then you are setting a norm for the society, right? And then so much of accumulation and exploitation will take place. <laughs> So it is unguided under the influence of preconditioning sensation and dictated by some form of property, it is like this. This could be so much obsession, like there was a person called Nero in Rome, you know, many years back. You have heard of Nero? He was a dictator of Rome. So he was very fond of taste of food. So what he will do, he had cooks in the palace, they will cook delicious food for him. They will eat to the fill and then and now when the stomach is full, then he will vomit. So he had some doctors who will make me vomit, make him vomit. And then he will eat again. And this will continue for days together. It is said that it became a fashion in Rome. People in Rome at that time used to eat too much, then vomit and then eat again. And that was a kind of festival. It went on for days together. It is said that once he thought that if I see Rome burning in flames, what a beautiful sight it would be. He set the whole empire on fire. And he was sitting in the palace and playing flute. So that's why when some dictator is very cruel, he said them to be like Nero. <laughs> Just like Nero.
so you can see to what extent it can go you know the obsession for senses obsession for you know indulgence obsession for accumulation and profit so find it out now if you look at it sound touch sight taste and smell to fulfill or to feel or to ensure happiness through these senses people are doing so much the current market if you see if you go there isn't it it is filled up with commodities to give you excitement to give you temporary happiness so preconditioning that assuming without knowing depends on something or someone outside keeps changing not sure it leads to harmony or contradiction sensation if you see taste of sound touch sight taste of smell it is tasty and necessary in the beginning then after some time it becomes unnecessary then becomes tasteless and then becomes intolerable this is something that we can see you know, very easily however sweet the dish may be after some time it becomes in, you know, uh, unnecessary and after some time the sweetness is gone and if you if somebody comes to vomit after eating he or she will not seek that food again <laughs> at least for the next two months <laughs> it becomes intolerable when i was working some time back with tata motors so we used to go with car pulling and at that time one movie had come dil se and it was a song called chhaiya chhaiya and the person who was owning the car was so found up that in the morning also have to listen to chhaiya chhaiya for half an hour <laughs> in the evening also have to listen to chhaiya chhaiya that continued for one month it had become intolerable <laughs> so i was trying to enjoy relationship there you know <laughs> no so somehow i can that's why i stopped after two months otherwise it would not have stopped you know <laughs> hmm we'll just see and you know, if you see some students are fond of rock music such a heavy loud music in the hostels bhaiya yeah. he might have done it unknowingly uh, that you are uh, intolerable to that so why not to educate him yes so i try to educate as much as possible <laughs> if you have tried then okay yes. <laughs> yeah if you see the loud music that they play in the hostels you know and you just see it is so loud so harsh in fact we had we had some uh, we have some cultural festival at iit it is called antaragni the inner fire you know <laughs> and you can see the activity that take place so we had one rock brand sometime and the rock brand was named as what is that salvation or something so i went to that see what salvation means to them <laughs> and this person had long hairs sometimes putting in the front sometimes in the <laughs> So I simply came out of the hall. <laughs> Salvation. <laughs> Given all the choice, what I accept naturally leads to harmony, happiness within. Quantity is desirable, possible. So if it is something which is naturally acceptable to me. it is assuring to me it is satisfying to me it is also something which is universal so this is one test that i can apply <clears throat> if something is acceptable to me naturally it is assuring to me you know i feel assured being with it it satisfies me and i can see that the same thing holds true for everyone else <laughs> so yeah. 
So at times, no, when I'm not able to make out whether this is my acceptance or natural acceptance. So somebody may say that rock music is naturally acceptable to me. You know? That is fine. I really like being with it. Then just try to you know, test on these grounds. We can also add some more things here. Yeah. Yes, but yeah. Uh, just it is my personal question. Uh, since you are working in IIT, uh, you have a family also. So most of the time, either with the academics, research works may be carried out. Uh, family spending time. Uh, the other way, that is to get relaxed. Because I have a thought process. Because you will be engaged along only with these uh, things every time in your life. Because you have started this journey from 1996, 95. So, uh, otherwise, how do you spend your free times? You don't go to movies, you don't watch movies or you don't watch uh, uh, any matches or you don't get relaxed in any sorts to music or whatever it is. You spend the whole time like this itself? No, not exactly. So, see, I'm a co-explorer. Yeah. But I am trying yes. to invest as much as possible for this. So I try to make a program accordingly. But yes, I can see that since contemplation is not awakened fully, you know, and the upper activities are not awakened, so I do get unhappy at times, and then I do have to work something in the imagination. But I can see that this is not the program to be continued, and then I again make a program for you know, continuity of happiness. So Then about your children? Pardon? About your children? Yeah, I have one daughter in class five years. So I try to make a similar program with her also. So <laughs> entire family only with the programming part for each and every one? Pardon? So the entire family will be of the programming part for each and every one in the uh, family? Uh, no, not exactly. So I can see that I have one kind of sanskar. My wife has another kind of sanskar. The newborn baby had some other kind of sanskar. So my program is definite. Okay. So, in fact, the issue of giving time to the family is to be rephrased as the whole family giving time for this. But you have to give some time to your family also, no? Yes, yes. So, there is always time being given to the family, yes. But I can see that the time is meaningful when it is spent for this. Otherwise, it is only in the domain of, you know, senses, health and profit. <laughs> okay. okay, bye. Okay. The sensation for happiness. So there is some physical object. There is a contact with the body. And there is some sensation in the body in the form of sound, touch, form, taste and spill, smell. <clears throat> and it is tested by the self. So we took the example of sound, some music, isn't it? Some music. Somebody may be fond of classical music. Somebody may be fond of, you know. Uh, rock music, somebody may found of gajals, somebody found of something. Right? Now, it is only a sound. It is tested by the self. Right? Now, if the taste is favorable, I feel happy but temporarily. Particularly when you are listening to music, try to find out because you are assigning some meaning also. So, generally when you are sad, you would like to listen to sad music. So if you are listening to sad music, it implies that you are. <laughs> so you can make out our conditioning also from there. Similarly with touch, you know, if it is favorable, then it gives me happiness temporarily. Some form, some look, some sight. If it is favorable, again it gives me happiness temporarily. Some taste from the tongue, again it gives me happiness temporarily. Some smell, isn't it? If the taste is unfavorable, it makes me unhappy. And also that it is temporary. Nobody can be unhappy forever. Someday he or she has to start self-exploration. So you can assure that every human being has to enter this process sooner or later. Isn't it? Because unhappiness is not acceptable to us naturally. So this sequence applies. Sensation can be a source of temporary happiness only, excitement. It cannot be a source of continuous happiness. Take a mic. How we uh, comment on uh, kind of this music therapy and all? 
because uh, uh, nowadays we could see that uh, cancer patients or uh, certain patients they go ailments through music therapy or uh, kind of even taste if you take we take tablets obviously it, it will be unpleasant but some kind of healing it does with yeah. us so the senses have a role to play in health the sound or the touch or the sight or the smell they have a role to play in the health we can we say it's physical body not with the self no health in the health. body okay. as well as it can also help you know, okay. in the imagination part also to some extent but temporarily Tem- temporarily temporarily so but for the self it would be temporary no. the body is of course temporary no. but it can be fulfilling for health quite sure yes. thank you so it can be used as therapy any of these so for example when you are taking medicine it has a taste if you eat trifala such a sour bad taste but so good for health so if you need to be healthy gradually you will see that when you eat trifala for the first time you know trifala one medicine to clean his bowels suku yeah yeah trifala churnam <laughs> if you eat for the first time you know you will feel like vomiting but once you are able to see the effect on the body you start liking its taste pardon yeah harad baheda amla three things three three yeah three fruits yeah three phala three means three didi kadakana solradha harad baheda amla ad enna varudha हरर बहेड़ा आंवला इन हिंदी गूगल इट है ना या आंवला वी ऑल नो ना आंवला वी नो Yes. <laughs> so you see that your liking for all this keeps on changing also. Your liking for sound, your liking for touch, your liking for form, taste. This all, this all keeps changing. Bhaiya, in the music therapy, uh, regard, Bhaiya. Since I am practicing that law of attraction, uh, in that regard, even they are using for uh, health benefits. It was recommended to listen to the music than with the lines. so the, if we are listening to that content the words no that may create a impact it is a uh, proved also but listening to the music there is a possibility of curing some situations that i could even feel but you it is gradually so- see that this workshop is also music therapy okay <laughs> <laughs> so many people laughing together okay. <laughs> but the words will cre- in the regard what is your suggestion bhaiya like the words of course we even for our satisfaction to change our mind we are hearing that music that words will create a impact in our uh, thoughts like that it is proven actually yeah so presently we are not having the right understanding so okay. we have problems in the self okay anxiety depression all those things could be there in the self you know then there is some effect on the body because of music it gives me some sensation right i assign some meaning to it being hopeful for getting cured yes. and then with that i have a change of my state of imagination okay yes and that also helps me change the state of the body also one thing second thing the sound is vibration the vibration can directly affect my body yes so it could be through the self also it could be directly to the body also for example if you see you know some touch some light some heat it has an effect on the body it can you know help me get healthy so uh, translation of harmony is sangeet it is written as sangeet vyavastha sangeet order so sangeet may be music is not music there is some exactly. order <laughs> so vyavastha is more precise there we can say vyavastha translation order. that uh, slide yeah. it is given as sangeet yes sangeet uh, we also use in terms of harmony because if you see sangeet is harmony between the notes if you mm-hmm. look at the meaning of yeah. music it is yeah. harmony between mm-hmm. the notes hai na maya yeah. i am a normal human being i am a normal human being i am taking care of my family 
what are the basic necessities of a family what is the essential requirement of my family and what is the essential requirement for myself where will be my level in this blocks yeah so why essential only we have to find all the requirements so yeah. as you saw there are three basic requirements for every human being right understanding in the self the relationship with human being and physical facility with the rest of nature that is something that relates to me also for my family members so for the whole family i have to plan this so i have to make a program to ensure right understanding in every family member mm. and the feeling of relationship in every family member and produce enough physical facility to fulfill the needs of the body of every family member mm. keeping in view that the harmony with the nature is ensured if that understanding is there like then, in the family if that understanding is there this is required the collective decision is made which is harmonious like whether it is required or not like one See, fellow that may be erroneous also we collectively decide in the family that let us go and and conquer or capture the land of the neighbor we are all in tune with that let us next morning before he wakes up and go and capture the land of the neighbor <laughs> yeah so right understanding is something you know definite so not na so i can see for myself that whether it is right understanding or not so just being in consonance being in agreement is not right understanding not also harmony it may be the case that all in the family are dictated by this we'll see sometimes no that our students marry so they are sometimes on the social media also and then both husband and wife enjoy touring and are eating dining outside right they spending so much for merry making the two may appear to be completely in harmony but that is not the case because their desires are dictated by this and what is appear on the facebook may not be the actual thing they are putting on facebook at times fighting otherwise <laughs> that is quite possible but it may be the case that when our preconditioning matches you know then the contradictions will be less quite possible so there are three possibilities we all are preconditioned in a similar manner the second thing is others are preconditioned but i am not preconditioned i am having the right understanding the third thing is all of us have the right understanding what is the desired state all better than uh, lower to this would be second at least i have the right understanding then there would not appear harmony or agreement in the family but at least i can take them in the right direction we are not collectively moving in the wrong direction but if all the members are in the family are preconditioned in a similar manner they all go together holding hands in the wrong direction <laughs> so that is not a desired state bhai yes this is universal what else yes. sir i have a i need a clarification so we are all attending uhv 1 2 3 continuously so somewhat um, up to our level best we are taking 30 to 60 percentage of the core essence from this and when you are trying to apply the same thing in our home um whereas uh, people are different from uh, uh, understanding and people are different from preference requirement need etc etc and uh, when i just started behaving and uh, trying to implement in front of them or uh, to, towards them they all started uh, uh, looking at as a alien so it is just thinking that what happened to you yesterday you were uh, i mean normal way only why you started thinking i mean started behaving like a mahatma level from today onwards <laughs> so what is the expectation from uh, it's not expectation it's a request from hers so uh, next uhv 4 onwards why not allow our spouse or kids along with us to attending the same sessions not uhv 4 uhv 1 pardon It start from UHV one. You, <laughs> UHV one. Yes. Not an issue, sir. Let them attend the UHV one along with us. Yes, yes, yes. Why not? In fact, it would have been much better if all the spouses had come here. Yeah. So then only they can. <laughs> no, then only they can understand. In laws two, sir. Nyanam. In laws two. Yeah. No, then only they can attend. The, they can at understand where we get the sudden nyanam from the source. That's what. Otherwise, we can um, avoid. Uh, they're just looking us. looking at uh, like uh, alien formation that's what yeah that is because one reason being 
that we go back and start preaching to the family no it's not preaching it started acting itself they understand okay. some <laughs> formation some transformation has happened <laughs> yes see if you respect your family members why will they feel otherwise but if you start saying that coffee is bad and you know, don't take from the other day then they start feeling something otherwise that this person is going to make our life difficult now <laughs> no when the children as soon as enter into the home they are not keeping uh, uh, their uh, slippers properly and not keeping uh, their uh, floor mat properly we used to advise them sometimes in a harsh mode and after after the sessions we just quietly calling my son and uh, daughter don't keep it like this please keep it properly and you have to understand the servant maid's feeling and you have to understand the neighbors uh, feelings and my son is just have a doubt and the morning he asked me mummy are you all right and uh, <laughs> because <laughs> yesterday onwards you are not at all scolding me so that's what whether the changes should start from myself or my son side that's what having doubt sir yeah we keep citing one example no when you talk about trust that one lady in kanpur attended a workshop and she shared after the feeling of trust had been discussed that she was cooking at night and she had two sons and they were playing in the drawing room and one son hit the ball and it broke the glass pane so she came running from the kitchen and the first thought that occurred to her is slap both of them and they were another damage another glass pane <clears throat> but then she stopped because she got reminded of all this then she asked the sons to move away brought a piece of cloth removed the glass pieces and then was about to move then the elder one said marogi nahi will not hit us then the younger one says that no she is attending a workshop nowadays <laughs> bhaiya yes uh, i have a doubt uh, in this case right uh, we do have that uh, different sensations suppose uh, if two cells going with a harmony on one sensation and all other sensations it's uh, obvious in uh, opposition so uh, how we can go with you mean because some family members for one yes, sensation yes 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 uh, obvious i will tell directly that uh, uh, myself and my spouse when it comes to food are going out for a food obviously always harmony irrespective of what we are going to have or uh, where we are going just if say food fine and uh, all other aspects uh, obviously sound music it's are all total in uh, opposition <laughs> so use earphones while playing music yes <laughs> yeah but again uh, like the basic issue is to ensure the right understanding if i'm trying to derive happiness out of music this or that way it is going to be contradictory isn't it similarly if i trying to enjoy happiness out of some sensation this or that way it is going to be a problem even for taste isn't it only for this <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that should be avoided no i am saying we have to ensure the right source for happiness okay. in place of avoiding yes at least you can make out for yourself that this is not the source of continuity of happiness so you will get rid of this inclination and she used to tell that whatever i ask only for the food except you say restrictions only for the food you are allowing on all aspects <laughs> yeah so there Thank again you. the problem is that we are trying to be happy temporarily through excitement from these sources so that is not going to be a source of mutual happiness in the relationship also get <clears throat> it thank you yeah. it is said that one couple it was shared out a couple in pune got married lavishly then they went for honeymoon to singapore during the flight because both were from posh families they started discussing that i studied in this convent school you studied in that convent school which is better <laughs> and then they started you know completely fighting and it so happened that they started blaming each other's family and heritage and so many things <laughs> by the time they returned from honeymoon they had settled for divorce so <laughs> here uh, if i saw the cricket match for example in india and australia i support uh, the indian team in ughv says if i am happy others also makes happy See, for example are... india wins a match i am happy 
if australia win the match in this condition i support only the indian team in the mind but you you which says others also make happy yeah so you are looking for happiness from outside through sensation hai na and there is some conditioning also that if this team wins i am going to be happy if this team loses i am going to be unhappy for so the source of happiness is outside so it is not going to ensure mutual happiness not even happiness in you in continuity that is the problem isn't it okay just let me hai na go from here for the role of sensation or right utilization of sensation is keep the body in good health by nurturing protection of body and to exchange right understanding and right through education sanskar if you look at the animal sensation in animal is naturally restricted by nature for health so you can see like in animals you will see that they will never have any problem for health because of some overeating or something hai na they are naturally restrained if you look at the human being the sensation in human being can make right utilization of sensation only with right understanding so it is much more you know unguided here because it is not naturally restrained we have our imagination much more developed isn't it so have to yeah sensation more sensations strong sensation no basically we have the will to live with happiness animals have only the will to live so they get some sensation it is fulfilling the will to live that is okay we are trying to ensure happiness out of it that is the problem so if we try yeah. to ensure happiness out of it and there is no continuity then we are looking for more something more over and above this for example this hearing interested interest in music etc uh, we have that sensation more yeah so if you try to ensure happiness in you through music ah, no no there is not But going to be definiteness there is no not going to be continuity there is going to be dependence outside there is no definite completion point all those things will be there yeah so that's how we are saying that happiness is our innate nature and not an external influence but i have to work for it bhaiya yeah. um uh, animals uh, doesn't ha- have a nature of that health so the animals are getting disease nowadays is because of the behavior of the human being because nowadays like pandrika chal lot of fevers all these animals are getting it's all because of our uh, human no see now if you look at the animals they are cruel or non cruel so they also may have problems for health but it is primarily because of cruelty so for example one animal hitting another animal and if you look at cows also sometimes they fight with that, each other so that much. was there but in recent days rat fever cat fever lot of things i mean it's because of the human behavior yes. the animal is getting this so the animals which have started living with us they are more in problems <laughs> the animals who are living in jungle and in forest are not in that much problem yes um, take a mic bye two minutes uh previous case the game with australia and india if i am particular about the game cricket then whoever win or whoever will lose it doesn't matters me if i am particular about the game if i am particular about the team particular team then that gives discomfort or comfort but then i get to find out why are you particular about that game also take the game as it is yes the aspect the uhp whatever it is as it is we can take we so accept see, as it is i have to look into the purpose is it for yeah health? it is that is for uh, yeah, it that is, is something that i have to keep on asking is it for nurturing the body protecting the body or actually changing the body yeah everything it is very descriptive it is understandable uh, uh, it is temporary Sorry. that all um, according to my knowledge i understand it is very content with a limited satisfaction just for relaxation we do it we know our limitations for example early morning we do hear to the religious songs whom whatever may be the of the rituals so in that case if this is being taken into account that is uh, not for uh, uh, for half an hour or so if we hear to a peaceful song it cleanses our mind with the morning freshness early morning 4:30 it 
it refreshes so in that point of context so we are not supposed to hear or we are not to do it no i am saying for the time being continue with it if you find that is no no longer required well you can then no. continue presently if you feel that this is needed you can continue yeah we it. don't hear those things for the entire day that is what continuity it is not there i accept it it is temporary everything but that uh, half an hour or one hour listening to those things uh, and yeah, uh, then you, if we can compare it with the realistic world when we travel because i used to travel by train nowadays you see youngsters or middle aged or old age people everyone are having their earbuds on the drums what is there and everyone are connected with the social media what is the need for it because i don't like because i listen to music but not every time i watch movies i watch uh, matches everything but not to social media seeing up the reels ups and downs and, uh, yeah. yeah so one possibility is that when you listen to that music in the morning you get the feeling of reverence glory gratitude in you that is one possibility yes so you are using it as an instrument to you know have the yeah. right feeling yes in some part of the day yeah. so that is fine but still i am trying to ensure the feeling from outside presently i can contemplate on that feeling and and ensure it inside also that is also possible then why it is being done in mask in churches in temples yeah so that like people are not living with human consciousness right now so it is something is to be done so that we can draw their attention to human consciousness we can draw their attention to right living right feeling it's a good thing only no yeah so that's what i'm saying the good thing would be that i am the person with right understanding right feeling in continuity but if not in continuity at least for some part of the day i am trying to have that feeling in me and so that is still drawing my attention to the right yeah with this i'll close in our churches if someone is dead they ring the bell three times in such a thing that some uh, funeral mass it is going to be held or a long bell ring that uh, sound if it is uh, irritating yeah elderly persons who is most uh, ill the person yeah he or she may feel yeah little sounds but it is not that it is under tolerable circumstances only how we okay i'll close with this acha fine Thank you. we can continue with the discussion after lunch then ji so nice let's the